Exactly. Him, the, the, so it looked like I set card, him up. The report card. What are we talking about? Yeah, Long he time ago. the report. The, so he, he set up the report card. Is this part of the podcast? Mom, mom, I didn't know it that. Can dude. Be. This is a raw start. Yeah, well, I didn't know so, that. So I didn't he's know a rock star, twenty eight hundred agent. Is what you're saying? Yeah, but rock stars say he is flunky. Rock star is crazy. That's crazy. Rock star might get off. I never knew, bro, because when 1090 came in there, yeah, he hit me. Now he'll tell you, a lot of these people, I don't even know who the fuck they are in the clubhouse rooms. No, like these, like. Like these people y'all be saying? Yeah, like the name. Like, like, TJ says we just bro. mentioned TJX6 and he didn't know who we were talking about. I don't, know, I don't be knowing, right? I really we, don't be knowing. I mean, I'm not somebody surprised. tell me, put it in front of me, cool, right? So when he told me, yo, I got 1090 in the room. I said, who's 1090? He said he had a white boy, fake blood. Who be, that's what he tell me, right? Damn. He said, come fake in there and pack his ass up, right? Oh, I don't hell know. Hell no. I don't know nothing about the Top blood. So... I don't know you brought him. If he'd have said Remo got him for me, yeah. I'd respect you out because it's gonna have you looking crazy. Exactly. So, but this, he ain't let me know that. That's how he lined it up. So I'm thinking y'all coming. Come, no, I come in there bombing on the. Think about it. If you think about it a few times, I'll just pop up and get on what. I don't even know. He telling me what's the dude do the report card. He said I got this. Dejan. This dude trying to give his opinion about. The streets and rap, right? And they're giving my Fs. He like, yeah, he gave Blueface the F, right? I said, well, what you want me to do? I don't know him. He like, man, come in there, pack his ass up. He ain't going to see you coming. Um, so then I come in there, and you know it's on. I bring the little crew, and we get on him. He turns around and acts like he don't know what's going on. Yeah, nah, Rockstar, he be, he be working his moves because yeah, the nigga did that with the 1090J. Though for sure, I had no idea. Yeah, I definitely have brought Tenani. Uh, yeah, he'd be all right. He'd be all right. I know I've his seen, rules. He'd be seen having seven people in a room. Rockstar was in here the other day, and I told him, "I'm like, hey, you know, I, I interviewed Wack yesterday, and he had some harsh words for you. So just so you know, that's dropping in a couple of days." And I, I, I could kind of like see it in his eyes, where I like, to, bro, if somebody came to me, I and had was to like, buy him food. <laughs> if somebody came to me and they were like, "Oh, Wack, talk crazy about you on the podcast," or anybody talk crazy about the podcast. Unless you're bringing something totally new to the table that has never been said before me, I'm kind of like, whatever. I saw a little bit of fear in his eyes. I, a little I, bit of rage I in his eyes. buy him food nah, from man. his own homies. What? What you mean by buying food? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. We at my studio. He said, whack, my homie got a kitchen. You know these kitchens that bunch of kitchens in the warehouse, whatever they call it. Right? Ghost kitchen. There you go, right? Yeah. He said, um... Rock 100 burgers. I said, shit, I'll, you want, I'll go over to the mall. He said, nah, he's still open right now. So I said, F let's roll. So we leave my studio, go here like in North Hollywood or something. We go over there, pull up in there. Dude from his neighborhood, right? So we going in there, and I ordered a bunch of I ordered A5 Wagyu, lamb chops, this, that, that, another, right? So <clears throat> I'm thinking. It's on the house. No, I, I'm not tripping me. Yeah. I'm thinking they from the same neighborhood. Right? So when I get the bill, I said, shit, I got two. I said, third. I said, Rockstar, your plate on here? He like, yeah, right? I said, you know, the third plate for Rockstar. So his homie looking at me like, I don't say nothing. Right? Bill like $150 or something, right? So I said, Rockstar, you, your, your plate like 40 whatever, 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 right? He like, whack. I'm tapped out. I said, well, you know, this your homie. Like, he, he don't... He brought he brought you he brought me I'm here because of you yeah. he ain't gonna like just look out for you yeah and his homie like ain't trying to hit none of that shit for the same neighborhood so that's what let me know the respect level ain't there over there so I just covered the whole bill like literally right no then he calls me and tell me he got to pick his daughter up he ain't got no gas money she in San Diego or something right so. One of my people called me and said, yo, Wack, we got three concerts. We got Drake. Um, uh, it was Drake, Metallica, and Beyonce. You ever been to a Metallica concert? Never. Right? He mm -hmm. said, I got four spots, pay 1500 each to drive the go golf cart around, right? I got some real bloods in Arizona. But Rockstar just hit me telling me he ain't had the money to even pick his daughter up and bring him, bring her back home, take her. So I call Rockstar, bro, you want this gig? I'll pay you 4500 Yeah. Right? I call in there and say, yo, 
give him this gig because, you know, his resume wasn't right. They give it to him. How much money you think I told him to give me? Nothing. 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 I was going to say, like, you probably This is what the power root yeah, doing yeah. for the crib, right? Yeah. Then after that, he called me again and said he showed on something else. So, you know, I got partnership in the Toyota dealership down there in Scottsdale. I said, yo, they doing an event. They paying um, $40, $50 an hour for five hours. Put on all black, go stand at the door. It's a dealership. Ain't going to be no street shit, nothing. Right? To be but, a security guard. Just stand there at the Toyota dealership. $50 an hour. You got him this gig. Swear to God, just, my just randomly. Oh, that one and the other one for forty five hundred. He needed something going on because he said he was f-ed up. Now, see, this is what bothers me when people go into this super crip and the super blood and the super power ruin. There's part of me that wants to kind of like ease up on the rock star conversation, but this is getting interesting Listen, right here. Yeah, if you all that to your section of where you from, and your hand is bad, the respect level you supposed to have. You ain't supposed to be calling the power rule for that. For these things. Yeah. At all. And I looked out, so what bothered me is when he said, Why well, can't never did nothing for me? Mm. Oh, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is the total opposite. Not do nothing. And when we did that first interview and the, the name came up and I spun it to the energy drink, he got mad that I didn't mention his name. I would go out the out my way. To mention his name, his room, pumping his shit. good, bad, or the ugly, it drove people to him. His numbers was growing. Now, you definitely was. Since I withdrew, he got six, seven people in the room. Actually? Literally, I take screenshots of the room. How many How many people will you have in a room on Clubhouse? I have no 400. idea. 400. Okay. I'm going to keep every room 24 hours. He opens up once a day. My rooms are 24 hours. I open up six, seven rooms a day. And they're all three, four hundred all day. So I was taking my traffic over there while my rooms was open, assisting him grow. Because he told me, with all these crypt talking about whack, I f with you. Then he started asking me, could he come to the hunter side? Absolutely not. <laughs> because your team ain't like that. I'm f-ing with you, and you take and do what you do with it. Right? And then he started getting mad. When he started getting mad at Adam, I guess he kept trying to, like, get a spot up here. Yo, whack, press out. I said, bro, those words you be using, when it comes to men and business, you can't use them. There's no pressing at him. And this is my whole thing. When somebody, no pressing him. And I'm a rock star. But when somebody wants to be a host on No Jumper, they will, like, pitch me on it, say they want to have a show, they want to do live streams once a week, they want to do this, they want to do that. Move the needle. That's that's that. that's the only thing <laughs> that could make me lift my f- head up from staring down at my phone is when I notice a spike in the views. When I notice, you know, there's certain people. Wax clips do good. And the, this show does consistently good. There are certain people on the news that when their face is in the thumbnail and the people know that they're going to get to yeah. hear this person talk about this thing, that yeah. they click on it. So as far as Rockstar, like I would like to. F- him. I would like to have him be a, a consistent personality on the channel, but he's not a personality. I got to see a little bit of movement in terms of the snake. fans, you know. Listen, I can call somebody right. Listen, bro, he was trying to get up on me, popping up at my studio by so I see he was doing bad. Pulled up with a Prius with the donut tire. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it all got to be I you insulting you his financial status? Because what I'm saying is this: when he told me he was <sighs> up. As a as as I looked out for him, yeah. and what I didn't like is when he said I never did nothing for him. Well, was obviously the Crips wasn't with you. You you, you would have damn near been a Paul Root. That's what I wanted you to be. Your whack. Let's do the your podcast room. Your whack can be whack. I'm with you. All these Crips, all these is mad. They mad, but I don't give a. You the only looking out for me and all this. And this was weird. I look up right, and you've seen this before. And everybody he was talking about behind their back, when I walked away from him. He linked up with He linked up with him. Yeah. I have no respect for that. I will respect you if you continue to stand on your own and do your shit. But when I look over there and you with all the people you snaked on, told me all they business, tell me all they shit. And that's where you, I'm like, I'm glad I got away from that. I feel like this is you giving Rockstar the, the WAC 100 stimulus package right here, though. Because you're talking about him consistently on a podcast that is much larger than any podcast that he's on. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. You know, that nigga called crying on the phone, all kind of shit. That nigga 
Cripping water down. But we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna move on to the you next You can't just situation. say like that, but right? The n- shoes lean to the side. Shut up, but see, man. why are you always making some financial <laughs> That ain't financial. It's your shoes. So you're just saying his, his shoe style is not cool. It's no, not like a they money lean thing. To the side, like. But you know what? I saw him saying an Instagram caption as he said because he came here the day that we did the little no jumper Christmas party right after the news one morning. He came through. He got his little plates. He got to eat his buca de beppo or whatever the f- it is. And then he went and did back on fig right after. And he had an Instagram caption that said like. Who else in this media game can touch no jumper and touch back on fig right after? That's why he shouldn't come back in the bill no more. You think he should be banned for banned, that? Period. Straight up. I mean, I wasn't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I take a pay cut banning. Who were both of us? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> he said he'd take a pay cut banning. Nah, we we need we need uh, rock star and whack to do content in 2024, man. Y'all, y'all say, man. Crazy. He had never get content. I, I tried to help him. And you know what? So he's cut off for life now. For life. Well, I seen you say that same thing about CEO Reek, and you brought him back at one point. I've never brought CEO Reek back. Y'all was, well, I, you, I seen CEO cool, Reek right? back. Y'all cool a little. No, he don't. Reek don't. Reek pop up when he pop up, but Reek ain't back. Oh, right. So Reek, he, he would love to be back. He can be back in the clubhouse rooms and shit. He's not oh, your he can official pop up, he can pop up in the, Yeah, He can pop up in the, in the clubhouse room. He always that. He a leading. He can come over the room think, and do all that. Do you think he I've, Number two now. Huh? It was probably like a year, year and a half ago. Like, like after you guys went through your whole thing, CEO Reek was trying to come on the podcast to break down his life story and tell me about the drama with you and him and shit. After and, I'm the one that introduced him, right? But I, no, I kind of like left him on Reddit at a certain point because I felt like... I was forcing him to the game. Do I really want to be diving into the deep meta beefs of the clubhouse scene? Like, Man. is somebody worthy of an interview just because they fell out And with all whack? you remember was... Gilly bringing us, bringing it to our attention that he was light skinned with a Mike Tyson part. Did he say that? I don't remember. Definitely, that shit's hilarious. But look, I noticed that um, you got a few gifts for Christmas. You had the Gucci. Is that the Gucci jacket? Yeah, I took it off because it's a little hot in here. And then you got the Gucci button down. See, there was Christmas gifts. No, I bought this for myself. Cap. Yo, who was this that ran you off the? You walked out of meeting an uh, interview with. <laughs> No, everybody keep telling me this shit. I can't believe that the person who finally is asking me about this is you. you see I, I'm a, I don't give a f- like, it's why. But look, one thing about Adam. Adam doesn't give a f- about asking me something. Hmm. And I don't give a f- about asking him something. I don't mind First of all, we either. both know we're going to answer it. I don't know no details, but like, yo, whack. Adam been ducking. He got ran off an interview. I said, Adam ain't been ran off. I will tell you, I'll tell you exactly what happened. What the f- happened? So there's a guy, a, ch- a conservative commentator named Charlie Kirk. And he's like white or black, white. Okay. And so he's like very, very well known in the conservative movement. Super hardcore conservative Republican doesn't f- with abortion, doesn't f- you know whatever. Well, and like actually. they told me, because so there's a podcast in Santa Barbara called the Whatever Podcast, and they basically do like a lot of sort of you know dating type stuff slash like political stuff. They have people kind of mm-hmm. arguing about topics on there or whatever. But the gist of it is that it's basically like a couple dudes and then like ten girls. And mostly the girls will be like OnlyFans chicks, but then a couple of them will be uh, conservative girls, whatever. And so they asked me to come up to drive up to Santa Barbara, which, as you know, is like an hour and a half drive, to do a debate with this guy, Charlie Kirk, about abortion. Or no, excuse me, about about like he basically thinks should be illegal. And so I was going to be illegal. You know, this is oh, a hardcore a little, conservative okay. Christian guy. So I, I, I respect Charlie Kirk. But Christian women are the freakiest women out of all the religions. They're in denial about Shout that. Shout out Ja Rule. Right. But Honey, anyway, so uh, Let's go. I drove up there to do that debate. They t- and, and this guy is completely on the opposite side of where I'm at politically, but seems like a respectful guy. Mm-hmm. I show up five minutes before I get there. I see a text from the host telling me that Charlie Kirk pulled out. So this is a little weird to me because I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, so this stream supposed to start at five, five o'clock. You're texting me at 4.55 telling me that homie pulled out. That's kind of weird because weird. this is a professional-ass dude that does this for a living. If he's pulling out on you, you didn't pause. Know. I'm assuming that he told you like five, six, seven, eight hours ago, ago, maybe the day before, but you still wanted to have me on the show, so you didn't tell me until the very last second, right? So I walk up to the venue where they do uh, the whatever podcast, and I'm, I'm down there. It's a shit of girls, and most of them are girls they're only fans girls so they're all talking gotcha. to me sparking conversations they're talking about the baby they're talking about my girl yada yada so i'm having this whole conversation with them 
And then I see this dude walking up. And this is a dude that I only know of him because basically he had like beefed with destiny and academics. And he's like a red pill guy, right? Destiny. That's hard. The blue haired guy that you became Off friends body. with on here. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this guy had beef with academics and destiny, right? And after he beefed with them, I made fun of him on this podcast because, okay, Flacco interviewed him as well. And so I made fun of him on this podcast. And then after that, he made a shit of videos talking about me. Now, I never seen him or anything, but I remember always seeing these thumbnails and realizing like, oh, this guy is like basically trying to fucking talk about me to get some clout or whatever. One of those, okay. One of them. So I'm standing outside the, the podcast talking to these girls and this dude walks up and like, he's like here on me, you know, he's like a little mm, tiny yeah. mother or whatever. And he says right away, he's like, damn, it's crazy to see you here. Like, do we need to fight? And I was you like, you had your security, would you? No, because I'm. You learned something. I'm up and stand up. I need security for this guy. Everywhere you go, Adam. I could bare naked, uh, rear naked choke him. Like, I could rear naked choke him and 20 of his friends at the same time. It's not even. Why are you talking about choking him up naked? But I'm just saying, like, this is not like the kind of guy you need security go, for. Okay. Anyway, he says, do we need to fight? All I think in my head is like, no, like, why, why do I need to fight you? Like, I, I know you made videos about me, but a lot of people make videos about me. I'm not thinking about, like, I'm not angry at you like I want to fight you, right? I sit down to do the interview, and it's kind of weird because one of the things about this dude is that he's a scammer. Like, he actually, like, he scammed his own fans. He did, like, a crazy NFT scam. Everything that he says about himself is, like, totally f made up. Like, he has not had any kind of business success. He has, like, no money. He's just, like, everything about him is kind of, like, a facade in order to try to like build this idea of him being the successful dude or whatever and we started doing the podcast and I only lasted like 40 minutes and he he keeps like taking shots at me in the conversation and my whole thing is like I'm, I'm starting to like realize how bad I f***ed up as I sit there because this guy knows so much about me I know nothing, nothing about, about him. him besides the fact that he's like a scammer so you need a beast with you that day I just needed like to not be in this situation. You and need to be sweaty. And this is the other thing that he's doing is that he's kind of like he's dissing all the girls over and over. He's just dissing everybody at the table. But meanwhile, he's a total loser. But the girls don't know that. They're just like kind of going along with it and kind of acting like he's got like some sort of high ground to be on where he gets to diss them. And after like a half hour of it, I was just like. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here because it was yeah, just like you problem, know, Adam. Adam, listen. But, okay, bro. I had two options in my head. Adam, bro, you I was thinking about no throwing jumper, my drink bro. in his face and jumping over the table yeah, and attacking go. him. I, I weighed that in my head for like three or four minutes, and then I was like, ass. exactly. And then I was just like, you know what? I have nothing to gain from that. What I thought about doing was doing the fake walkout, where I was gonna say like, yeah, I got to go to the bathroom, and then just dip out. That would have worked. But then instead, I was like, you know what? I'm out of here. But then, like, everybody makes videos about this being like, oh, Adam walked so out. Adam, it was just you a, up. It was you a. You got packed up, Adam. I did not get packed up. Who is this? We got to put him in the title on Clubhouse. What's this, who is this? You got his name? I don't know his name. But, uh, I don't even know. Yeah, you we don't, don't know. We don't know his name. Know? Nobody knows. None of the only Nobody fans has girl? ever known his name. No. So you don't know the only fans girl that was there? Uh, How about the host? I'm, I, f I, I followed a couple of the girls. Host. The host over there, no. We, got, we, we can't let it ride. Oh, well, that's you Brian. Didn't, you didn't let, come on, bro. You feel like the whatever podcast set you up, though? Like, you, they knew y'all had beef? I actually don't because I don't think that Brian was paying close enough attention to realize that this was somebody that I had an issue with. Even though, when you actually look at it, with them, like, pulling the other host at the last possible second and then having this weird internet troll guy who's obsessed with me, it does, like, look like they set me up, like, right? Yeah, I, but up. I kind of don't think that Brian was, like, thinking on that level. And also, he hit me up so many times making it clear that it was a big accident and misunderstanding that he did not want to put me in that situation or whatever that I kind of believed him. That being said, I don't really think that like that kind of podcast is necessarily like the environment that I should be putting myself into at this point because So what's the dude name podcast? It's called Whatever. You want to go up there? Who's the host? <laughs> I would almost maybe go with you. Yeah, no, we it's need to go it's back. like a white guy named Brian. It's like the we least need to go back. The least street podcast you've ever no, seen in your life. Back. You want me and you to go? Yeah, just have him sit there and let's troll the f out of him. Just make him sweat. But see, that's part of the problem is that he gets trolled on this f podcast all the time because now they have all these OnlyFans girls showing up to troll him. 
they show up and they do weird That's personalities and like crazy shit to this try to get dude, un- right? like to try to go viral. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna bring all my homies who ain't been to the dentist in 18 years. I don't think he's like down okay. to have a bunch of gangsters he on don't the podcast. Know. To be honest, like you didn't know it was coming. He don't gotta know it's coming. They're not gonna do nothing. They're just gonna stare. At I'll tell you this. This is my final word, and it's a good transition to our next topic. I was talking to academics about it right afterwards because he hates this fucking guy too. And academics' response to me was, bro, you're crazy. Why would you put yourself in an environment like that where you've got this dude who can only go up from here because he's like ground level as a content creator. Like he he can come up off of dissing you Whereas, like, even if you completely dunk on this dude, even if you, you, it's just, it's not going to do anything for you. Academics, take your own advice, because I told you that (laughs) about a few people associated to Adam. That's true. Maybe he got that advice from you. And you keep on doing it. And on top of that. As soon as Academics said that to me via text, I was just like, fuck. Should have took whack with you. I wish that I had thought of that before I sat down with this guy. whack with you. But, you know, I, I got some good wisdom once in a while. I got to give it to him. No, nah, definitely. Um, Who, who's that talking about that you don't think he should be talking Oh, Brick and Sharp, obviously, yeah. And his motherfucking girlfriends. You should stop. Listen. We're going to get into that. Just don't. Bro, act like you in prison. <laughs> get you some Vaseline, some straight stud magazines. We still got a whole garage over there full of them. You're saying I, the academics needs to beat off. I'm saying he don't need to associate with no women for at least nine months. I think it might be too late because from what I heard him announce on Troy Ave podcast is that I think she's three months pregnant, if I'm not mistaken. He told me that. Yeah. Oh, we was on a live. He should hire a fucking sniper to make sure that that never happens, bro. Did you see what happened? I see. And she threatened me to sue me. He, He if that baby is if he has a baby with her. His life is so fucked for, well, for see, the rest of his here life. Here goes the thing. That is the worst thing that could happen She's to him. He's definitely fucking on academics. Yeah. Now, here goes a beautiful part like about this. Unlike Blueface or Krishan, academics got a Bobby's World head. If the baby come out <laughs> the with a that? normal size head, <laughs> we know it ain't ass. If she has to have a C-section after the fifth attempt of natural birth because of the Bobby's World head, we know it's ass. So you believe she is? He told you she's pregnant, right? He told me she's pregnant. <laughs> and then she threatened us with a lawsuit. Why and I'm like, Bobby's world head is so funny? There's like he, two different types of guys. There's like a dude with like a cartoon character head. That's him. And then there's like a blue face with like a slim like Listen, Ken doll so head. So he right? says yeah. you're whack. My girl talking about suing you. Like, I'm going to sue you because you and blue face keep lying. Talking about blue face, fuck me. So I'm like, I don't know you. I said blue face, fuck, ax bitch. So you don't actually know, because I was almost starting to think maybe that Blueface really Bro, did fuck her. No. No? This what happened. All of it started because of me. Because you said that on here. I said, yo, me. Blueface fuck ax bitch. Who are you? She said, I'm his woman. I said, well, I'm talking about his bitch, Paris Hiltran, the rapper chick from Atlanta. So I don't know you. That's really a Paris Hiltran is a real person? Go to Spotify and look it up. It's a trans woman who looks like Paris Hilton? No, Hilton's? she's not a trans. That's her name, Paris Hiltran. She's a rapper. Oh. Got two hot singles. Look it up on Spotify. Paris Hiltran. You're the pop up, right? I know her. So she's like, what? I said, yeah, ask bitch to what I always see you with in Miami. I don't know you, lady. So when I say ask bitch, excuse me, but whoever he introduces me to, that's who I got to go off of, right? Yeah. She goes nuts. I said that last time we was in Atlanta, when I pulled up on you at the spot, she like, you fucking were, you were. And she slapped the phone, act disappeared. Next thing I know, his live is on, he don't know it, and you hear it going ballistic. It all started right there. So you are the one who popped all this off. I swear to God, it's on the fucking um, nah, it is. podcast. And, and because that's the crazy shit is that then you have all these Twitter accounts who basically showed the video of his streaming setup with no, with with nobody sitting there, and then you can hear deep in the background. That's after I did what I did, you can hear Ak and her well, Ak, screaming at each other, and she's like really screaming. Ak and people me. people tweeted this, and I think it got like fifty thousand likes before it got a fucking community yeah. note saying. In the background, you can hear academics as friends basically raping this girl, even though that's not even no, like the same night that that situation allegedly even took place. 
Bro, listen to me, bro. So he's getting hit with like crazy real accusations Yo. as well as crazy fake accusations at the same time Yo, to listen. round it all out, which is I, she I gets had me on feeling there and for him. I'm gonna sue you and whoop the whoop. I said, baby, I'm talking about Axe bitch. Paris Hill trade the this this rap chick from and, and I, I'm not saying that the accusations are actually real. I'm just saying like I'm saying a couple girls actually accused him okay. of some shit, but then well, the 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 they're also like making up on, fake bro. accusations at the same time. Who are you calling? Oh, Paris, no. nigga, huh? Paris. <clears throat> we live. I gotta look her up. Who's on my Paris Hill train. Okay. Listen, Paris. Did I tell any lies to ask bitch, ask girl about who act fuck with on the side? No, you never. Uh. Uh-uh. What is your name? Paris Hill. What 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 do you do for a living? I make music. I rap. This is a fact. Now, I want to, like, he, she gets on here talking about, I'm going to sue you. Look, baby, I ain't talking about you. You know, I know Paris. So when, she, when I say bitch, she don't hear it like that. She know that's how we talk. You know, she 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 know what time it is, nigga. Don't, you know who I'm talking about, act. Nigga, you know she rap. You was going to help her do a few things. And, nigga, that's what it is. How old are you, Paris? 23. And you from where? I'm from Atlanta. All right, I hit you back. Bro, I'm not fucking around. So she threatened you to hear her threaten me? No, nah, I heard it. Nigga, she said, I'm serious. I'm going to sue you on Blueface for uh, whatever the fuck I said for what. All right, but let's step back here. So you basically, you 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 kind of snitched on act for cheating. No, I didn't. I'm telling the lady, lady, you talking about suing me and my artist, and we talking to act about his bitch. I don't know you. I haven't been introduced to you. So you accidentally snitch on No, him. I cleared it up. Ax should have never put her. If that was what was going on, Ax should have called me himself and told me that. Yo, bro, my girl, what do I say? And I would have been like, bro, you need to like let her know something you want me to do because you know who we talking about. So hopefully I'm getting my chronological order right here. But I'm at home minding my own business. Was this a Saturday night? Some shit. I think it might have been I Saturday I was minding night. my business. I might have been. I'm sitting at home. I'm playing poker, smoking weed on, in the back house Fingers. on the Fangas. And I go look at my Instagram DMs. I've got a group DM. It's been sent to me, WAC 100. No, I wasn't on that. And Fuck Troy you. Ave. Yes, you I were. Was yes, not you on were. It. We have the screenshot. I've you never were. seen it. Because I didn't notice your name I didn't listed. Want to it. De Niro Jones. I didn't know it was always on there. I didn't know don't either. Play with me, bro. Until later, he brought it up, Adam, and he was like, Wack was on that DM, too. I was not. And I said, no, he wasn't. And then I, I went and not, looked bro. at the screenshot, and you were on the DM. So when Shay Glizzy decided that she wanted to terrorize Ack, you were at the front of her mind, as Look, was I, bro. and as was Troy F. That's her. Oh, no wonder I couldn't fucking find it. It's spelled crazy. H-I-L-T-R-I-N. Okay. Paris, H-I-L-T-R-I-N. I just looked through about 40 fucking pictures of Paris Hilton right on, there, on the YouTube search results. Anyway, so I go to, I look at my DMs, and I see a message sent to all of us. You're, you know you're, I didn't see it. You're, I believe that you didn't see it. Because you told me about it. I was like, okay. what? What I thought at that moment, I thought it was just me and Troy Ave. Later on, I realized that you were in a, you were in the group when chat I as well. When I went back to check, they must have deleted it. Okay, but listen, did, it. it was gone. That doesn't surprise me. But I and maybe Troy didn't get it either. Maybe I'm the only one who got it. Maybe he didn't open it up. I at asked the time. Troy, and Troy said he didn't get it. So I am the only one with the nuclear codes. Okay, let's continue. So don't I, start no I, shit out of. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be very careful with how I talk yeah, about this. Yeah, because because no, be, and not for the you reasons that the you're content. thinking. No, because I, I just got don't. The content. I don't think, I don't want to be in a position of disrespecting anybody's the, meat. I have, you seen the meat. I have the vocal response of the person that's seen the meat. You saved my voice note about it? No, you sent it. Yeah, but you saved it? You don't have to save my voice notes. I did. It's on my text, motherfucker. I don't. No, I think it disappears unless you save it. it which I, I, you I know this is kind of right your now? thing that you like to leverage these sort of things. No, do you want me to play it? No. I, no. I'll play it and it won't disappear. I'm speaking to you right now. I can tell you. I didn't. Yeah, no. Anyway, all right. Yo. So listen. Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with this Can shit. you let me tell this goddamn Go story? Go ahead, brother. This is fucked up. I click on the DM. And it says, it's a message that says, from her, that says something along the lines of, since he want to laugh at about me with y'all, since he want to laugh about me with y'all, here you go. And what did she I send click. you? 
The first picture is a picture of academics sitting at his computer chair in front of the desk. Okay. And the photo is taken in such a room that you can basically like see the room that he streams out of from an angle that you don't normally see it. Gotcha. So I'm I'm saying all this to just say how I know that it actually was. Because a lot of people, when you mention this- But you know it was him. Basically, yes. Because then that picture of him in the chair and then a zoomed in or a closer up version that's a little bit more overhead where you see exactly what academics is working with, if you get my drift. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, bro, because see now- this awesome. See now, look. I didn't choose Hold to on. view this. I got a partner in crime. This showed up in my DMs. See, why troll itself? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. So you telling me? Let me get this right. The meat lady watch. sends you a picture. Co- title this meat watch of academics sitting at his desk, his that, streaming setup, where he's he done all this people. work throughout all these years. Yes, he got his shirt on up top, shirt on, asshole naked at the bottom. It, no pants on. But pants down a little Pulled bit. Pulled down to the knees. No. At least I got ass so naked. I don't even know if I they was were... ass so naked. <laughs> Yo, listen. So you telling me that Act is sitting there, shirt on, pants halfway down. Was his brief down too? I could go look, but my recollection is that everything was sort of collected like right here. Like it looked like. Either he just jerked off, or maybe she just slurped you, him up. Oh, you insinuating the, academics was jerking off while screaming to the what the people said should he be on? Nah, no, nah, we Twitch. 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 No, I'm not saying he was twitching on the I'm Twitch. I'm just saying the, I, the way the photo yo, looks. Get the fuck out of here! It doesn't look like he just had sex because his pants are like kind of like right so here. So he was sitting there with his with his dick out bare on Twitch. Yeah. Act was twitching well, when no, the girl. No, no, no. He, he wasn't, wasn't on Twitch. I don't think he was on. But Twitch. he was. He seated. had headphones on. I don't know. No, he was seated. Know. Microphone in front. He of was me. seated where he does all his Twitch streaming. Nigga, he's twitching. Did he have a camera off? He might. Well, see, there's Even no if way the for me to know. If the camera was on, you're gonna see the upper body. All right. So, so are you telling me? Let me look, take you hold through. On. Fuck it, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna take the hit. We're gonna do. Um, you know, we're gonna do a little simulation. Uh oh. Twitch table. Fuck it, don't put the headphones. Do you want me to show you the photos right no, now? No, I'm not going to do that. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here we go, academics. Yo, 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 yo. Academics on Hennessy. Yo, 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 yo. I don't give a fuck. Motherfucking city girl. Motherfucker. I'm from the county. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't give a fuck because you motherfucker. Man, let's, let me tell you. Motherfucker, you know how much money? You know how much money? You know how much money? No. That nigga act <laughs> be going in. Man. See, look, they I got caught slipping, ass so naked laying on the bunk on the phone. We saw it. But I'm with a bitch. Right? Yeah. This nigga be having 15,000 people looking at him, male, female. Can he see the people like we see him? Listen, Twitch? just because he's sitting at the computer where he normally you streams not does not mean that he was actually streaming at that fucking moment. Now, let me finish telling you what my thought process what was, was after doing? I saw his dick. Anyway. You saw his what? Dick. Oh, my God. I'm going on mute. Now, for those who know me, when it comes to issues in the media space. It's your fault, Remo. And hey, I ain't got nothing. When it's it comes, fault. listen, when it comes time for me... <laughs> When I need a little bit of help in analyzing something in this hip hop media space, re- analyze it. Re- you analyze it. I, I, I needed help analyzing it in the media space. Remo is one of my closest confidants. You needed help analyzing what? So, with, without even thinking about it, I sent Remo the dick. <laughs> no I, warning. I just said what no the fuck. Warning I think it, I think my message says no. what the so fuck. So you opened it up and did this. Yes, and I see academics. Wait, 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 wait. I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Let, let no me, warning. Because I know what he told me. Let me rewind that. Did you do this or did you do this? <laughs> yeah, he got closer. Bro. I know what he told me. Try, I don't know. They try to act this ain't on me, bro. And for the record, I'll with you. I'm a chat nigga, the man. The only but. person I showed it to besides my wife. What did your wife say? Call her. We'll get to that. Call her. We'll get to that. No, 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 no. I don't want to bring her in on this. <laughs> nigga, fuck that. We'll get to that. You know what Act told me about your wife? What? What he would do? How much? How many times he sat at that table, <laughs> looking at your wife on the screen? Call her. 
It's a fact. No, okay. But Nigga, yo, nah, man. I, I said I sent it to Remo. I told me. It took him a moment to realize what he was looking at. Oh my God. What does that say? What does that mean, Remo? Stop. Do you want me to go back to the Remo text what conversation so we can see what he was saying? No. Bro, that, what the fuck does that let's mean? Skip ahead slightly. How does it wait? He busts your eye. You don't know. You get oh. a text, open it up. It's supposed to be a dick pic that the ex ex girlfriend sends Adam, right? He sends it to you. He just said, and for him to say that, you had to tell him, it took you a moment to realize what you was looking at. Yeah, because he was like, wait, what, what, what is it? What, like, what is I was, that? Why did it take you a moment? Because they got what my boy Ack in a compromising position. It's just a position. It's just like a, You never thought you, you would see this. You never thought you would see this picture. You so never like, thought. What the fuck? No, 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 no. And no, no, a million no. years that no, you would no. see it. Now get back on this the This would be like if you saw a topless why photo of you? Beyonce. Wouldn't you think it was fake first? No, Adam, stop fucking with me. Okay, somebody. Stop fucking with me, This would be like if you saw- if you saw Why a photo you of Trina a butt naked, wouldn't your mind kind of be like, nah, this can't be. Why did it take nah. you a moment? Man, because she got my boy. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm you cap it, Remo. Nah, I'm going to keep it 100. All right, she got my boy <laughs> you playing. I think my, he, might, he ain't on stream. I think he playing Fortnite. He might be playing a game. No. Mm. Did you see the screen? I don't say no, it was listen, on Twitch. I'm, listen, you're asking I'm so many questions. You're making me want to go back listen, and check the photo. He, it, he was playing don't a game. Don't fuck with me, Adam. I'm pretty sure he's playing a game. We will go viral on the hunter side. Don't play. You don't want to be leaking people's dick pics. No, I That's don't illegal. have to pick. I don't have to pick, but I have audio. Let's get done so with his reaction saying, so I can get to why is he how saying I communicated with you about you it. It took you a get, while yeah. to realize what you was looking at. Because I did not expect to, like, I, first of all, he didn't tell me what he was sending me, so I get a text from Adam. As a man, if a motherfucker send you a dick or a pussy, you automatically know what you're looking at unless the pussy look like ground beef or the dick look like it's non-existent. I would like to clarify this, that. What I, is he saying, I, bro? I don't think that me sending it to him was actually appropriate because I don't think once once you, you become weirdo, in possession of something like that, that, you shouldn't even send it around to somebody that you consider like a close confidant. I should have just told him what I had. In you know, retrospect, you know I you owe him a few pussy be, pictures, uh, Adam. You don't think Adam said no? Who's you know pussy? You? I don't know, bro. Oh, Adam, that's 22. The I don't know, bro. I don't know what the fuck. No, Who am I going to send him pussy pictures? Well, he just said you sent him some. You already I film pornos with girls all the time. It would never occur know. to me to send them to anyone. Yeah. Well, you just said you did. Stop trying to clean, cover it, it up. It's what? not no shit. I just want to know your mental state when you saw Academics' dick for the first time as a member of the CN Army. And why did it take you so long to realize what it was? He's got a big scorpion tattoo on his back. That's how much of an act fan he is. I don't know nothing about him. I'm definitely a chat nigga. Should we call Ag? You gotta That's call Ag, man. Let's call no, Ag, bro. I, let's finish this whole fucking story and then we can call him. It's, because there's still funny details that you are like not letting I'm me get say to. This. My boy, he wasn't on stream. Ag is playing Twitch on stream. I'm, no, with his pants he wasn't down on stream. Obviously, he's he was not fucking Fortnite. having his dick out. Like, you could Ag, see that part of his body. I'm never getting on your Twitch again, brother. On this stream, is fucked up, bro. That you did me like that, bro. It's fucked up to masturbate in the she, same street seat that you stream in. I don't even know he's masturbating, but his dick was out. Like it kind of looked like. The only thing I'm gonna say is I don't think he was on stream. They was playing Fortnite. She just had him in the car. He Did you had study no pants on. You study the picture? You just, when you see it, you can you just automatically see what's, hell no. Nah. But okay. you can, when you see the picture, you can just like, what the fuck is this? Like, I did not expect to see my boy Ag go out like so that. So what oh, goes man. through my head when I realize that I am now in possession of nude photos of that, that could set hip hop ablaze? Yeah. What goes through my I head? Know, I got the recording. You what goes me. through my head? I feel like WAC 100. So what do I do? I send a voice note to WAC 100 saying, holy shit, guess what I got in my possession now? Because you are kind of the dick pic guy. You're the sex tape guy. No, not me. Yeah. Why am I the sex tape guy? I don't got dick pics. You got everybody's sex tape. Who? Legends. Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya, Kim we Kardashian, Nipsey Hussle. You stay with a dick pic. Oh. You stay with a sex tape. Nipsey Hussle's baby mama was in there. The bitch bad, too. This is facts. Don't call her a bitch. Well, I don't mean it in a bad way. I know, she but... She's bad, she, you know. And you know, normally I'm, I'm pro-bitch. So, um, but I don't have that in possession. The homie does. I just have access to all of it. Even people. if it's not true, this is what people say about you. That you're the dick pic guy. You're the no. one who's got everybody's nudes. No. Oscar De La Hoya had a bunch of bad bitches in the room. Right? I don't know. Now, what he compensated for is for the video not to come out. You know what I'm saying? And it was some shit going on. 
And you <clears throat> you were the one who was and threatening to put the video out, right? I don't huh? no, bro. It's no threats. <laughs> business is business. Okay, business is business, right? So they made sure the video didn't come out, but they didn't make sure the pictures. You know, it wasn't the package deal. It was boom and boom because the video came, and then next thing you know, after the video got squared up, the pictures popped up. So the, the attorneys notified them that you're some photos, and they seemed not to care. So that's why if you Google, you see Oscar De La Hoya in fishnets, lipstick, high heels. That was the same night. Okay. So I get, I get, I get these pictures. I. I I tell you that I have them, and and this is one observation that I've had about Act. That's all you told me, Don't and it's it the alone. same. What else did I tell you? Hey, I may you have described it. the photos a little bit more. You said it. Anyway, I reach out to you, and there, there's People, one we thing. Have a little problem here. There's one thing that academics and whack have in common. If you tell them something, they will share it with whoever I they ain't see fit. Shit. There has have been, you heard me listen, say something? There's been a bunch of times where I have told academics something off the record, and then like two days Wait, later, I'm watching him say it on stream. Have you heard me and say something? And you are the exact same way, person because nothing. as soon as I told you, no lie, 45 seconds later, <laughs> Ak is FaceTiming me. You I told him. To crash out. No. You, you called Ak to crash out no. that night. No. Well, earlier. Had nothing to do with this shit. I said, Ak, hey, bro. I don't know what's going on, but your girlfriend is sending sent the homie some dick pics. Are you? <laughs> he said you're a lot. I said call him, bro. Let's get the exact. He calls Adam. Time stamp. Yeah. I guess Adam verifies it. I did. And I guess 18 minutes later, Ax saying the bitch stole five hundred thousand from me. <laughs> I had to tell him. It was 8.21. Would you want me not to tell you, bro? No, nah, you, you, you did right. 8.21 right. p.m. on December 29th. Just no. so we know. That's, that's what we're talking about. That, just so we can put everything in chronological order if people are breaking this down. Act my boy, bro. I got to warn him. So, yeah. Act calls me, and it the conversation whack. is basically like him saying, yo, what's Wack talking about? I said, I opened up my Instagram DM, and I see pictures of your dick sent to me and Troy Ave. He goes, what? He goes, send me that. I go, bet. Hang up. I sent it to him. Did he call you back? He did not respond. He <laughs> didn't. He, he was. And then like within, I don't know, like 20 minutes, Remo is like, yo, Ak is on live talking crazy. And that's when he like basically gets on, on Instagram live while he's driving, perhaps under the influence. And then basically ends up back at his studio where then he films like an hour or two hour long live where he airs out everything about, I didn't see it. Honestly, I seen a few clips. I get the, this was December 29th, right? Yes. Respectfully. I get the troll award of 2023. The troll award of 2023 goes to WAC 100. Because if I wouldn't have, well, he started with the lawsuit. I was clearing it up. Yeah. From that, everything steamrolled. What do you mean lawsuit? She threatened me oh. with a lawsuit. That's right. why I had to tell her about Paris. <clears throat> I'm like, yo, we talking about, this is the bitch we talking about, right? But damn. Her... Sending that to me, you, and Troy, even though you say you didn't get it, is pretty interesting when you think about it because she could have sent that photo to any random person and they would have put it out. Instead, she sends it to me where she knows that despite our differences in the past that I wouldn't put it out. She knows that Troy and him do a podcast together slash is signed to his YouTube channel, so he's not going to put it out. And then she sends it to you who you are the dick pic guy, the sex tape guy, no, but this out. I don't think you're going to put it I'm out. I'm not the sex tape guy. Oscar was on there with bitches. Naked bitches. You have a lot of sex tapes. You have more sex tapes of other people than the average person. The Ray J shit was public. I mean, everything but two of them. We don't have that anymore. The reason why I sent you that voice note to tell you about the fact that I was now in possession of possibly the most earth-shattering fucking dick pics of all time was because... I know that you're somebody who has experience in this field. The reason why I say earth shattering is because, listen, I'm, I'm shooting at every amount of bail that you could possibly have. These photos are not complimentary to his meat. Remo, would you say that that's fair? 
She caught my man off guard, man. I don't know. It's 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 not a good look. It, be, it, bad, it has to be a bad photo. It's a bad photo. It has to be a bad photo. There's no way that this is like a complimentary angle. Because Okay, hold on, bro. The photo's hold not on. looking too good. Because I don't know what y'all you saying bad photo. And keep in mind, you saying compliment it's not a compliment. I'm the dick angle. guy. I'm what the dick guy. Saying? Like I I've seen a lot of dicks, seen a lot of dick pics. <laughs> You might be the dick pic guy. You might no, be the sex no, no, pic no. guy. I don't got no dicks. I'm in the porn game. I've seen more dicks than most people. I've so evaluated more dicks than almost anyone. I'm saying that I don't know what this you're photo, I choose to believe that this photo is not an accurate depiction of his penis. But this photo as it stands, I, the average Twitter female would not be as accommodating as I'm being. I feel like they would take this photo at face value and assume that this is all that he has to offer dick wise and it would not be a good day. It's not a good photo. So this is what I mean by he told you said <clears throat> that you didn't realize what it was. He said what he's saying. <laughs> he had to zoom in saying, maybe. I just didn't bleed like what the fuck I was seeing. I was all right, listen. Was like, if it was a dog over there by the door, you would know that's a dog, right? Yeah, you know up? it's a dog, right? Yeah, for sure. If it was an ant crawling on the floor. You might not know. It's so small. So are you saying? <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying she caught my man off guard. I man. think it was, it had to have been caught off guard. She just caught my man off guard. It was just a bad pick. I'm shooting us from bail. What do you mean bad pick? What, what did Flacco say about when he was Flacco doing? Flacco said, said he know I got real yard man. I know you are real yard man. <laughs> did you show Flacco? <laughs> no. I, I'm telling you. So Flacco I only showed him. About I only showed him and he said, you want to know the line of the plug man. reaction? Yeah. <laughs> what did your wife say? I won't tell you the exact words she Call said. Her, bro. No. I'm going to skip. Like, she skipped. For real, bro? Laughing at it and went straight to sympathy. She immediately was like, oh, poor Ack. <laughs> and that wait, is why I'm wait, saying wait, wait, wait. It's, it's not a good Stop. photo. It's a, poor it's a, it's a bad in, angle. Poor Ack as in that's fucked up sheet. Exposing them or poor Ack from what she was looking at? Poor Ack as in my wife is socially knowledgeable. She knows how something might go over on a PR level. And I think as soon as she saw it, she could kind of envision the uh, the Salem witch trials erupting over this picture. Call your wife, bro. I like to keep her out of this kind of stuff. That's the homegirl. She's going to be mad. She that said, I didn't call her? She said, what? Anything you ever need on the show, tell me, hit me. Come on, bro. Like, Lena would not get mad at me for almost anything content-wise, but I feel like she, she would. Fuck with what? She would get mad at me if I tried to involve her in this. No, she would. Yes, yeah, she, she would actually be annoyed because she, she may be a porn <clears throat> star. She is like the nicest person ever. Then I have a solution. For She's that. not a mean person, and she would never be mean about that something I think like this. All the fans watching think should work. What? I understand what you're saying. Let a black guy call her. Him? Yours truly. Let a black guy call her. She seems to respond well to black guys. Let me call and ask her. I don't know. Why's your phone ringing? What are you doing? I don't know, man. Some fucking people from Freehold, New Jersey. I don't know who the fuck that is. They haven't heard that. Let a black guy ask. Worst thing she can do is say, whack, fuck off. And I'm not going to say nothing. That's the homegirl. Let me ask her. Let the black guy ask her. Okay. I can't. She's really going to be mad at me. She's going to make me Let edit the black this out. Guy ask. Okay, but I have to give her the warning that we're live. Say, the black guy's going to ask you a question. Let me just give her the warning. Prep her. Warm her up for the black guy asking the question. Pause. Don't warm her up. <laughs> <laughs> you will not be warming my life up, Miss. All has been forwarded to voicemail. <clears throat> God is on your side. God. God's on your side, Act. Because these dudes. Are saying something I ain't saying without nothing. saying something. I don't know what's you trying going to get on. Lynn on the phone to, to air it out. Right? Let a black guy ask her. I mean, you know, she responds. I think, well she's, I think it was just a bad picture. She's man. nice. She's a very nice person. It's a very bad photo. The 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 bail that I'm shooting him 
would not be supplied by the average woman on Twitter who's already predisposed to hate academics. And one thing I said to him when I first showed him, I go, I won't do academics the way that he would probably do me in this situation. So are you saying this is probably one of the reasons why you don't have kids? No, granted, <laughs> I did not say that. That's you. Granted, I don't know if I could, like, my penis is no surprise. My penis is already out there to the, the masses. I feel like if Ak had something like this on me, he might treat it a certain kind of way. I wouldn't do the same to him because I'm a little bit too Gandhi. I'm, I'm pushing peace. I'm not doing revenge porn and critiquing no, people's private parts. No, we didn't do nothing. This ain't got nothing to do with us. She sent that shit to, you know what I'm saying, to a group text. And nobody asked her to do that. And I'm the only one who actually absorbed the contents. Pause. Apparently, you didn't even bother to open it up. Troy Ave didn't see it. No, Troy Ave didn't see it. I asked him on text. Like, bro, you're like, I don't see it. But isn't that... Okay. My theory with her, with Shake Lizzie, is that she seems like a real criminal mastermind. Hold on. Because... Her name is Shake Glizzy? Yeah. Yeah. Glizzy. Glizzy gang. I think she might be related to Aunt Glizzy. Now, (laughs) let's get off into this, right? Okay. Did she really love and care for Act? Or was she using Act? Because for her to send you that... If you want to go big picture... For her to send you that, she's saying something ain't right or whatever she's saying, and... She's not satisfied with that, so why she wouldn't? She wants to permanently spoil the the well with him, you know, poison the well. She wants to like really fuck shit up to the point where he'd never be able to forgive her. That's my read on it. But I have seen a lot of different people over the years tell academics on camera in one way or another. Me, Vlad, perhaps you. I, I heard AD do it. This chi- this chick is capable of shit that the average bitch is not capable of. Bullshit. A lot of us have tried to warn Ak that she was going to be, if not his downfall, something like that. <clears throat> like she, ha- like throughout his whole career, and I've been observing Academics' career for probably like ten years. I've never seen anyone be able to have this negative of an impact on his career besides her. No, that's a fact. Bro, but here goes the thing. He's never had a PR slip up like this. You can't keep blaming her because she keeps violating and he allows her to stay around. But I think the problem is is that he let her get too deep and I think that she was like blackmailing you know, him basically or something to he, to, you know, to stay in his good graces, right? Yo, listen. Because he just recently before this and he 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 has the official timeline, but didn't he like actually break up with her like right before this shit? When he gets her pregnant. No. And that, that's, that's a whole that's nother level. Because like, now there's an innocent gonna life that's going to be hurt through all this, bro. You know, like I said, either the baby going to have a slim head or Bobby's world. <clears throat> if it's Bobby's world, Ack, don't even go get the blood test. <laughs> Bobby's world. But if Ack lost weight, he wouldn't have a big head like that anymore, It'd right? be even bigger. <laughs> Smaller body makes the head look bigger. I think bro, like, know he got cranium, bro. That's my nigga. If he I lost he weight, his head would probably look like Blueface's head. No, his head's not gonna shrink. That's his cranium. You don't craniums don't shrink. You're underestimating how much of a person's head that is at his BMI is consisting of fat. His head would look like a much smaller head if he lost I weight. Got a Professor King bean. Who's that? <laughs> Who's Professor King? Professor King, man, Google him. Cartoon character back in my day. But Bobby's world for the people that know. Anyway, there's been a lot of shit like this over the years that has made it clear that, like, Ack finally really fucked with the wrong one. Because this bitch is ruthless. She ain't strong enough to take Ack down. I mean, and regardless, based on what we've seen so far, I would agree. Of the equation but he's of never the faced a challenge like this. Regardless of the equation of the situation, if it's... Plus or negative. Act is act. Somebody gonna go fuck with him. The problem is, is that now he's got blog posts and shit that are like academics accused of, uh, you know, this and this. And I won't even. It's just all lies. I know, but the like. shit she came out with got even, even just having those titles. Ago. Even, the, right. even just having those blog posts. 
It's yeah, not good, you know. Not, it, not. it can hurt when it comes to getting corporate deals. No, when it comes right, to fucking right. with the Spotify's of the world, so like, I mean, she tried to present he it as if his Spotify deal was white. already out the way. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Your wife. And if if he's smart, he probably could get a lot of that done as time goes by. You can kind of go back and get a lot of those blog posts cleared up if if shit doesn't turn into anything in a court of law. Hey, Act. I got one piece of advice for you, bro. Regardless of what the situation is, it may be. Keep banging. Just keep begging. You know what I'm saying? Long as you sweating, who cares? Okay, Let's but, roll but so the then, just to keep this chronological, that shit starts blowing the fuck up on Twitter. All of a sudden, he's like number one trending on my fucking Twitter page. And then this other girl comes out, and we start to like put pieces together because this girl basically starts accusing him because of... of Axe's version of the story is that this chick fucked two of his friends while he was asleep on the couch, no, right? this is a fact. I know all these details. But then her version of the story, she makes a video where she says, you were on top of me when I woke up out Lies. of that bed. Okay, wait. She, this, wait, no, this is how it went. Now, I know this one. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is not right now. This is 18 months ago. Okay, right. <clears throat> and and just, just before you saw this... One of the things that Shay Glizzy said when she was trying to like basically assassinate his character, not recently, but like months ago, was she told this story about him having the cops break his door down, how his mom was handcuffed, et cetera. And it, aren't, it, she's referring to what happened in, in the fallout of this situation, right? In this situation, no, that's no, when his mom got handcuffed. No, Cap. No, actually it's not. It was Cap. another scenario. It was another scenario. Cap, because I she already him. had left the house, right? They put cops didn't come to the house till days later. Right to retrieve the audio and the video. So, Act goes to his room. He go to sleep. He a little fucked up. He sleep. His boys come to the door. He don't know how many hours later. Yo, bro, we out of here. All right, cool. She comes in the room with him, gets in the bed. Right? So, if he woke up with his arm around her, his bitch is in his bed. Right? He gets a call early in the morning. His mom's coming over. He tell her, you got to go. So I get her out of there because mom's is coming. He comes downstairs, looks in the backyard. Patio furniture everywhere. The backyard's in disarray. Axe saying, man, what the fuck was going on back there? He goes where? To his cameras. Right? He goes to his cameras. He see them in the backyard, they take his shots. She gets naked on her own, starts fucking one, and service another. Goes in his pants, she doing her thing, voluntarily. At calls her. He said, hey, you know you just was fucking my two homies in the backyard? Yo. She's not even on the couch. They she tries in the backyard. 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 She tries to deny it, right? Backyard is crazy. At goes, gets a steel shot, sends it to her. No, this is you. So then she says, well, I don't remember none of this stuff happened. I think I need to go get a rape kit. Uh-huh. She goes to the fucking police station. Willie really does a rape kit. Cops contact Act. Act go in. He cooperates with everything they want. Turns over cell phones, <coughs> DVRs, whole camera system. They open it up. They see what I just described. Oh. <coughs> Nobody's forcing. You are voluntarily doing these things. Therefore, Act never got charged. <coughs> homies never got they charged. They see Act never was in the backyard, never came out the room. They see the two dudes when they left. Her when she come in. Hurt when she leaves later. And then all the phone records line up, the text to her and all that, and they're looking at, you voluntarily did this. It never left the substance. So this girl had never spoken publicly about this, but apparently- 18 months. Ack, when he spoke about it <clears throat> on that to... live stream after the dick pics, like when he pulled up and, and basically just went on this whole rant for like an hour and a half, apparently he described that situation, and when he described it, she disagreed with his telling of it, so she gets on Instagram Live like the next morning or whatever and basically responds to it and makes the accusation that he was on top of her, et cetera. Although- All to, this was investigated 18 months ago. To be ago. honest, like the way that he went so directly to stream and responded to it and seemed so confident in the idea that he had the video records that would exonerate himself- he did. 
that made me feel like he was probably telling the truth. The they question is, exonerating. Why did she feel so confident making this accusation? And what we You're haven't heard from her with since a then, right? Bob bro <laughs> who needs something to say. And you, you and when she said it, but he didn't even do. He didn't say anything that would indicate that this but, was about her, right? But when she said it, right? Everybody believed it. On Twitter, this is why sure? she yeah. did it. Yeah. She knew people was gonna believe it. No, for sure. The video of her probably had fifty thousand likes on Twitter. It doesn't and shit. matter. It was that going shit got, that shit yeah. went but viral. Ak posted the text messages between him and her, and then you could yeah, clearly he pulled, see that. I watched that clip. He None pulled of that every shit. single text up on screen, and it was pretty like. There's he no wasn't way back there. There's no way that those text messages match up to the story that she and was she telling. Told on like it just straight law. I, I, I'm trying to like see her side, but there's said. there's no way that this those texts could be about that night and have her version of that night be accurate. And that's what the detective said. But everybody need to know this shit all kicked off on the Facto Show, which you are trying to promote right now. No, I'm not trying. From one, I set the show up. I tried to bring you the show. Right. You didn't want the show. I didn't. No. So I took it to act, and he signed the show. Troy App, our girl Wolf, she the queen. You know, Wolf, queen of the trenches. Wolf so that's Wolf that's on there. Listen, McClubo. my yeah. advice, they should, to at least give that show a chance, they need to put it on the main channel, right? Because on the second, it, the, most of the episodes have like 10,000 views right now. I really think like what made AD blow up being on No Jumper was the fact that we were on the main channel, me and him, me, him, and House Phone, Talking every like every episode, you know that's yeah. what made the audience really start to fuck Along with AD. With his character and personality. No, no, totally, of course, yeah. And but, his wits. But that and level of like promotion was what got him. Thank you for trying to I take the most cynical I approach, you piece you. of shit. I but uh, get you, Neff. I'm just saying, if the academics fans are going to become diehard Troy Ab fans, they got to put that shit on the main channel, yeah, don't you think? Yeah, I'm gonna have a talk with academics. See what's going on because the the numbers right now, and I would like to see it succeed. But the numbers right now are looking a little, a little rough. So, um, we're going to do something. I'm gonna, is it okay if I bring him in on what I'm putting together? What are you putting together? The, the no jumper, the underground thing I'm putting together. Feel free. Sure. Cool. For those of y'all that don't know this guy. Remo 600. Remo <laughs> 600. What the fuck is this 600? Are you from Chicago? His name rhymes with uh, Mimo 600. He just, who you tried to him, sign. Man. I never tried to sign him. We could talk about all that again. It's no. Cap. Okay, I'm fine. You want me to show you him? <laughs> no, we don't need to derail this. No, fuck all that. Remo so, 600. Remo from is 600. Um, the guy that runs a No Jumper Instagram. Amongst other people. It's not just him. Right. Yeah, He's the one to keep that shit in order, right? Well, he doesn't want to be blamed for every single thing that ever goes up on the Instagram. He did it. <laughs> he but, did um, it. <laughs> that's it. I do more than that, too, though, for sure. For the record... For people who want to know, know the chronological know. order, yesterday we filmed the big hit and Hit Boy episode, and then today we're doing this episode. So they're going to come out in order, but just so people know. Because um, they might be wondering why they're getting a double episode this week. Whack. I was uh, I was pitching the Whack and Adam show to Adam for a minute. Adam and Whack show. The Adam and Whack show, the Whack and Adam show. He's been hating on me. I did think you were too toxic to do business with. That don't even make sense. Well, I, I feel like a lot vision. of people watching this right now are I thinking the same thing. I'm going to tell you why it didn't make sense. <laughs> you ain't got a motherfucker in your building that's more of a businessman than me. Nobody that's under your umbrella, and I stand on that. Nobody, none of your personalities, or whatever the fuck you want to call them, right, is more of a businessman than me, hmm. has the clout I have, hmm. the following I have. Who's got more clout, me or you? Huh? Overall? Because of your porn shit and all that, and this is yours, you do. And I keep it real. Really? Hmm. That's a fact. Just keep it real. No jumpers. I didn't yours. know. I, I don't know. The no jumpers is yours, and you cross. But you're over. blaming it on porn. No, no, you cross over. That's another. I was oh, doing I pretty well for myself before I took my dick out. I know what I'm saying. You have a whole another fan base. You want me to take it out right now? You gonna get your shit broke. Oh, okay. Now I keep playing. I'm gonna press play on what you really said on that audio. What did I say that was so bad in you that fuck, audio? You fucking with me? Or you want me to press? Don't fuck with me, Adam. I don't. I don't think I said anything bad. You All don't? I said was, I got a picture of Axe Dick. It's not looking so good. What the fuck? I didn't even say like, That's what do you said? think I should do with it? That's what, what you said. I would love to know what you think I said. Put that on your skin color. I put that on white. I put that on white people. I put that on Caucasianness. And that's all you said. You know, the only way to prove 
who's telling the truth is a press play. Play it. That's on black power, you said more than that. Play it. What? Play it. I would love to hear it. Yeah, I haven't heard it. It might be like slightly more extreme than what I have said on this podcast, but not really. It's coming down to your white skin and my black skin of, of what we represent. Expose me. Do it. I'll stand on business. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, there it goes. It's still there. See, I didn't press play. It. Fifty-five seconds. Five, five. Now, Adam is saying on his white skin, he only said what he said. I want to know what I'm else I said on, on this. Black yeah. Power on what we stand for. <laughs> Shout out to the ISUP blank because I'm a power rule. Can't put that after the P. Uh huh. Hebrew Israelites. You said more than that. Play it. Exclusive. Only your motherfucking no jumper on the Adam and Wax show, and it's powered by Remo. Bro, I just opened up Instagram <laughs> and I got a DM in a group chat to me and Troy Ave. And the DM is from Academics' girlfriend, his ex girlfriend. And included with it, within it is a picture of his dick and to call it small would be an understatement to be totally honest and now I find myself in the weird position of being in possession of this obviously not going to do anything with it but holy shit bro like if this shit hits Twitter and it's not I'm not dropping it I'm not doing nothing with it but if it does Holy fuck. How is that any different than what I fucking said on here? You gave a description. And on here, I was a lot more kind. No, I gave a little bit more of a, a more wiggle room. I believe my, my one West brothers would be proud of me. I did not let the race down. You blew your set up. Why? <clears throat> what I said right there is exactly what I fucking just sat here and said. You said, burp, you said. After I looked at the I photo. I would say it's small, that would word would be an understatement. After that, I spent more time looking at it, and I decided <laughs> that actually I thought that the dick was being misrepresented <laughs> in the photo. It's a bad angle. It's, it's a, a bad, bad angle. angle. It's a bad angle. Now I'm shooting him bail. I was being a little bit too gloom, doom and gloom when I was uh, speaking to you no. earlier. At that point, it was fresh, and you were being truthful because you were just speaking from which you really literally saw. I don't know what you saw. From the mouths I, of babes come the truth. I never saw it, but I hope you ain't twitching while on Twitch. That's all I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck is going you on. You seem more concerned about him masturbating than the idea of him just having his dick exposed Bro, to the world. Because you're telling me he's at his Twitch table where he talks to millions of people with headsets on and a microphone <laughs> with his pants down to his knees, draws down with his manhood out, and you telling me... Do you have a computer fucking? in your home that you spend time at? No. You don't have a computer? No laptop? Yes. No nothing? I got all that shit. I don't do that. Other people do that. You don't have a, a computer that you just kind of post up in front of sometimes. It's all on the phone. That's impressive. I have a computer. I record videos at it. I write at that table. I answer emails at that table. I play Ass poker at that table. And guess what? Ass on nugget? I also masturbate at that table. Okay, so you're telling me. It's in the back house. It's possible. I flodge the shit out of my shit back there. But act me on Twitch. What, millions of people? Just because you're live a couple hours out of the day doesn't mean you're always live. So is he fantasizing about the people? Why at the table? Half the time he gets off live, it's probably so he can beat his meat. Oh, bro, I don't know that's what the fuck is going on, bro. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> yeah, I think it's crazy. I don't think my boy was on Twitch, though. I think, I, literally, I think the nigga was playing like Fortnite or something. And why would he be beaten off in front of his girlfriend? If she has these photos, I'm guessing she probably just sucked his dick or fucked him. And then before he managed to do the cleanup, which I don't, I, I have to look at the picture closer. I don't feel like his dick was moist in the photo. That's crazy if you. Because if you just had sex or got head, well, then your dick would probably be kind of like ears wet. Are plugged. There'd be a little bit my of like. ears are plugged. You know, 
a little bit of liquid on it of some sort, a little bit of vagina residue or spit or something. It didn't look like that. To me, to my eyes, it looked dry. Remo? <laughs> Is he she done yet? She called my man's off guard. Though, Is he sure. done yet? <laughs> Okay. All right, let's push it up, man. Another, <laughs> nah, nah, let's just keep all day, all day. Another my dick let's talk. Nah, I'm just up, kidding. Man. We just talked about his dick for like 45 minutes, right? Yeah. I know sure. we, motherfucker. I ain't from France. You. <laughs> all right, so whack. So today, uh, BG <sighs> dropped a new song, and like, nah, he dropped the video. And in the beginning of the video, it's a cash money chain on the ground, and he picking it up. What's going on? I thought he wasn't. What happened? He's with Cash Money. You talking about the song where he dissed Lil Wayne? Nah, it's two different songs. The song he dissed Lil Wayne, he it got finesse two times on there. That's finesse two times song. I think he featured on that song. He dropped his own song today, where he he said that he still Cash Money. He said Stunner was supposed to give him three million, but I think I heard you on Clubhouse. You told Stunner not to give him any money and shit until you find out. Listen, first of all, say all the words. All you motherfuckers is leaving out the words. He was disrespecting Stunner. What it say? He said, um, Stunner's supposed to send me a car, never showed up. I asked Stunner for three million, he told me, hold up. Some, 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 it'd been a long run, but I was over. He said it was over? In this pull song? it up. You can't really play it on Pull it, bullshit, pull it up. We'll play it, and then we'll just edit it out, yeah. That's I mean, that's what, what you should be concerned about. But he's about, saying right? what Baby didn't do, but he's okay. still saying that he's cash money as of right now. He said, what I'm you still, mean? he said, I'm still cash money. We had a long run. Can you, so like, what you he, mean he said he's still cash money? Can you turn that off if we're going to start talking? Hold on. How you saying he's still cash money when a nigga just said in the other interview, I'm independent. I ain't signing nobody. I'm just going off the song that dropped today. The song he's saying dropped, he's still cash money in the said, sense he that something today. he might not be like signed to cash Wait, money, but he's today. saying that he's cash money. Like he's no, no, still saying, cash listen, money, right? Are you saying today he dropped some new shit saying that? In this song that dropped today. He said it not or, that video that we just dropped? Yeah, this dropped today. No, yeah, yeah. And that's the one so that was playing in the background. So he said he still cash money. Yeah, and he, had, you a cash, he, he had a cash money chain. chain. Yeah, he yeah, had a cash oh, money chain. So, on. right? So why in an interview, or whatever this motherfucker was he was interviewing, when they asked him, you know, how I feel to be, didn't they ask him how I feel to be back at cash money? Or something like that? I didn't see the interview. Nigga, you saw it. That's Cap. T.T. Naughty? T. T. I don't Naughty? know who the fuck this nigga is. Oh, I don't okay. know but, where, where yeah. he said I'm independent. I ain't signing nobody. Keep my options open. Yeah. You didn't hear that? But the interview came out a long time ago. This no, came out a no week ago. Long time ago. I mean, a nigga. week ago versus what dropped today. Hold on. Let me get this right. He's saying he cash money as so, of today. if I was coming in to get favor from you, right? Mm -hmm. And a week ago, I called you all kind of bitches and punk motherfuckers. And I say, Adam, I said that a long time ago. And it was just a week ago. Is that a long time ago? No. The fuck are you talking about right not a, not a All right, if it's a week, cool. But as a song that dropped today, he's still saying that he's cash money. So you're saying he's cleaning it up? I, mean, I don't know. I'm trying to figure Slow out. As, as a cash if money a representative, listen, listen, is he cash listen, money? If a week ago he said, I ain't signing nobody. I'm keeping my options open. And then today he's saying... He still cash money. Wouldn't you say he's cleaning it up? I think you're misinterpreting what he I'm meant. I'm not misinterpreting shit. He's saying he's still cash money as in he was such an integral part of cash money that he will forever be cash money even if that's he's not business. actually putting Listen, out music under cash money. It would be like if Snoop said, I'm dead. I am death row. Or I mean, obviously he, he owns death yeah, row now. Well, but I mean, like, you know, you know if, if, if Dr. Dre said, I am death row. Dr. Dre He's not signed that. to death row, but he was Dr. like Dre one of the most important artists Dr. from death row. Dre would never say that. Probably not. But you could imagine that if he yeah. did say that, he wouldn't mean I am signed to death row. He would be saying I was such an integral so, part of death row that I am that forever. So the question to you is, if a motherfucker say fuck you a week ago, I don't fuck with that bitch ass nigga. And then a week later he say, yeah, Remo, that's my brother for life. It wouldn't look like I was trying to clean something up. I feel like he was still blatantly dissing Baby on that song. Straight up. But dissing him like a motherfucker. And he dissed Lil Wayne today. Yeah, what's that all about? The fuck we talking about right now? So what's Birdman's stance with uh, BG right now? Birdman's stance is Birdman's stance with BG. Stunner speak for itself. And most of the time, Stunner speak to his actions. Sometimes his actions is loud. Sometimes it's, he says nothing. But at the end of the day, I will know this. This what I do know about bro. He don't fuck with no rats. Birdman. 
He don't fuck with no rats. At all. Period. Terrence Williams was very, very close to that man, as we all know. He's been doing a whole media tour talking about you, huh? He, he got to. He's like, let's be real at him. You don't respect him? I, you, you wouldn't have I him have on here? Zero respect for him. You wouldn't have him on here? Zero Just because of the snitching him. shit? Not going to happen. Gangster, tap in with me. I would like to interview you. Listen, I'll make sure he's nowhere near. Listen, that's another thing you got to stop doing. Inviting stop your Stop motherfuckers, because see, in a minute, I'm going to sit somebody at the corner. Like, stop doing that. Stop doing making, what? Stop making motherfuckers feel like, ain't they could come on a platform that I work on and violate me because you know I ain't here. If that's the case, let me know they coming, and we get that out the way. Who has that happened with? I'm just saying, because what you're saying. It's kind of hard to avoid people that have issues with you since you go out of your way no, to have no, issues with almost I'm everyone. What I'm, look, that's cool. But but the, what we're going to do now is we're going to have an open schedule then. Because what motherfuckers can't feel like <clears throat> they can come in my backyard. Because you playing white boy games in a nigga's world. And they can come in and violate and be like, yeah, we did that. And you know goddamn well, we don't be knowing when a motherfucker coming or going. We don't be tripping. But at the, at the so stage, you would have pulled up on Jay Diggs when stage, he was here? Uh, for sure. Mm. For sure. Really? So you're a white boy. <laughs> you play white boy games. And I, I would never do you. I, I would never do you like that. I don't know. I would never do you like but that. But I don't have this whole tough guy thing to keep up, right? It ain't no tough guy thing. Niggas is real gangsters. I just think if you wanted to fight Jay Diggs, you would have already done it, right? I don't know Jay Diggs, you weirdo. You have plenty of people that are mutual friends that I you could go know, meet up in a parking lot somewhere, right? I don't know Jay right? Diggs. Your punk ass wouldn't fight Milk, who was outside your establishment. You a Again, punk pussy I don't put myself out there like a Let tough guy. Let a motherfucker be outside. This is a big whack, part of your self identity is being a tough no, guy, right? It's not a tough guy. That's who I am. I'm a Paul Root, period, point blank. No, we ain't I, never shit once down. have you seen me but brag saying, about how tough I you am. You had a motherfucker come to your establishment. Another white boy. He from Hoover, true enough. But I don't speak this and language violate of violence. You, it don't You're matter. the one who claims that no, you do. It don't matter. It don't matter. You had another dude come to your establishment and tell you tell you to come outside. You never came outside. I'm a non-combatant. See what you don't. What you doing? And you understand. And, 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 you hey, get hey, it, right? Hey, and I hate to say it. If Leo Cohen's in look, his office and some guy shows up and wants to fight him, does he have to do look, it? One day. Answer that. If Leo look, Cohen's in his look, office Leor and some, got to do with if this. Vlad is in his office and somebody Listen, shows up and is supposed to fight him, is he supposed to do it? Well, you just and ask me. What's the difference? You, you think the I'm difference, a bitch like you. The difference between you those three me, people I just named and you is that you that's, that's claim to be living by the street code and that violence is one of the ways that you grade yourself as a man. Me, Vlad, and Leo Cohen, we don't view ourselves that way. So if somebody shows up what and they want to fight me, as a man. that's why I have security. You're you trying to justify being a bitch. No, because I'm not a combatant. I'm not partaking in this whole little gladiator thing that you guys are all trying to do. And you get this. You understand You this. didn't got passes, boy. You ain't even supposed to be here. Nobody thinks Nigga, that I'm speaking this niggas, language. You didn't diss niggas' neighborhoods. You Who? know how many text messages I got from the Hoovers? Who? I talked about that with Poke before it came. Nigga, I can show you niggas that, that ain't on social media. You should probably tell me that before you announce no, it on the podcast, I dealt right? With it. No, when I dealt with it. But what I'm saying but is. But you stop, understand why this is not stop accurate. Saying right? you don't do shit where you shouldn't have your motherfucking head knocked off. Okay. This motherfucker's dead. How many niggas dead for dissing your set, Lil John? Niggas died about that. What does niggas, this have to do with Jay Dix? No, it's the same shit. If you would have told me he was here, mm -hmm. oh, it would definitely been an issue. He wouldn't have wanted you to tell me that. I don't know. He was asking me to call you, right? Call me. But he wasn't asking you to tell me where y'all was at. He's up here at that point in time. Nigga, I'm from Pacoima. My project's four miles from here. But you understand why as a business owner, obviously I'm not going to go give somebody the drop what I'm telling when their you ops is this, are coming Adam, through, right? What I'm telling you is this. You don't control that. We allow you to do that. I do control you who control I invite to my establishment thing. when. You don't control these streets. I mean, obviously that day I you did don't control, control, right? You these streets. Because I didn't invite I you while he was here. Adam, because I respect your business, right? I don't bring it to your business. We can make it hot at this I motherfucker. I appreciate that, yeah. Everybody could have brick, brick baby. Every nigga who got a movement behind him could have been made it hot at your establishment. But what you got to stop doing, right, is playing with motherfuckers because then you going to force motherfuckers, right, to control this street. You do not control this who street. Who am I playing with? 
No, this real shit. But who am I playing? Because with? you would say, "Well, I'm gonna invite this motherfucker up here to disrespect you." Okay, like one dude told me he coming. Who I didn't say that I was. Nigga? I wanted to have Gangster Williams on here nigga? to disrespect you. Who is this nigga? I don't even know this nigga. Naughty, nitty, naughty. <laughs> oh, TT, TT, naughty. Yeah. On the eighth and ninth, he told me he coming to disrespect me, and we gonna be here. Whoa. That's a fact. Or you're going to cancel him. He did that. He went on there and said, I'm going to come disrespect you in your backyard. If he wants to tell you when he's going to be here so that you guys can meet up and argue or whatever this is supposed to be. And we ain't doing no arguing. I don't control that. We ain't doing no arguing. What are you going to do? It's going to be what it's going to be. This motherfucker be on fire. Now you playing with guests like that. Who wait, but who problem is it? Who did it? I didn't say anything about I don't about even know this weird. I don't want to interview Gangster Williams. I don't want to interview him about you. Listen, That's like the least interesting listen, thing we could talk this about. This is what I'm saying. I don't know this bozo, but he seemed to think he's so good with you that he could go on the internet and say, I'm going to be over here to violate and disrespect you on Adam's show. Look, if he wants to say that, then so be it. But I, I did not yeah, give him okay, the okay then, to then, say that. Then, then so be it. Then. I don't agree with him saying that. Then so be it. Since you saying so be it, then so be it. That's a lack of respect for me. Listen, if he told you when he's yeah, going to okay. be here and you guys want to engage in mutual combat, uh, preferably not in our parking lot, Man, fuck you I in don't your control parking that. Lot. If you're going to allow it to happen, it's going to happen. Or you're going to shut it down, bro. Sure, I'll cancel I didn't on do him. It. I'll cancel on him, if, but it seems kind of unprofessional for you to be threatening to fight someone here, right? No, nah, it ain't unprofessional. Nigga, do not get this fucked up, Adam. I'm not you like you, not me. When a motherfucker, I don't even know this clown. I don't know him. He mad at me about BG. It's paperwork. Are you mad at BG? BG did the ratting. Wack didn't do the ratting. Right? And he goes and say, well, I'm going to be over there with Adam on this date. And whoop, 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 whoop it up and disrespect your own backyard. So if a motherfucker that comfortable and feel like, then okay, cool. Either you're going to cancel it or you're going to let it happen. He did that. I don't know the dude. You've never seen me violate this building. Ain't like we can't lock down the block. You got to come or go. This is a death trap over here. You got to go that way or that way. TT <laughs> Naughty, I don't know why you said that. Probably, right? probably not a good idea. End of the day. So he's a, he's a real gangster. I don't know. Yeah, but that nigga a long way from home. Yeah. He a long way from home. I'm one of the faces and voices of the West. Both sides. They said he killed somebody. Give yeah, a fuck about none of that. I'm just saying. Nigga be on a Delta flight in the cargo area. Wait, now, what? At the end of the day, it got to be some type of fucking respect where it's like, yo, you know I do business with whack. Nigga, you can't. If you're going to get that off, then show up and get that off. But don't go on social media and say, I'm going to be here at this, this date. Whoop, 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 whoop. And I... No, I agree. He definitely should, that. He should not that. have said yeah, that. What are you talking great. about right now? Yeah. And for you to allow it, I just found mean, out about it right now. Means means you want to see something. I don't want to see anything. Hey, I we desperately don't want to avoid something. Nigga got the whole game fucked up. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> you know yeah, saying? I don't think Adam knew that was a thing. I definitely I didn't just, know that. I just I heard you that knew. Thing. I don't know. I didn't know. You the media guy. I don't see everything. You know nigga. Everything that's going on with me. And I don't know. Wait, wait. We for the record, I, I don't watch every single fucking clip where my name or your name gets mentioned on the record, internet. Right? For the record, I don't know this clown. Half these clowns be clout chasing off my name. You should connect with him. He's an up and coming media person. Yeah, I think it's uh, Pop Austin Media. Pop think, Austin Media going up. Listen, I will listen. The only connected we doing is gonna be some he don't want it to be. Now, if he wanted to be some real business, he could have just called me at the conversation, nigga. I don't know you. So his problem do, do stem from the BG situation. That's where it is. He's a rat. Did you read the work, nigga? Yeah, come on. Did the nigga tell? <laughs> nah, keep it gangster, because niggas is bitches. Did he tell, bro? He testified in the grand jury. And mentioned another nigga name. But that no, guy, no the but guy agreed for him to do that, right? I don't right? give a fuck. It was nigga, a fall we off. do not, we but. do not take no stand and point no finger at no fucking body. This man didn't even know he took the grand jury. Matter of fact, he had got his guilty plea withdrew. When he got his guilty plea withdrew, they went to this bozo, told him, we need you to take the stand or we're going to book you. So he goes, takes the stand in front of the grand jury, signs the affidavit. When old boy go back in to put his plea in, a not guilty, he want to go to trial, they say, well, you know, BG, the dude in the cars, took the stand on you and said everything is yours. And that's when he found out. That's when he found out. Yeah. 
That means his appeal, his fight, everything is gone. He never said the guns was theirs. It ain't like he tried to tell on them or none of that type of shit. And even then, nigga, you can't get out if you're living by this cold. It's an irrational thing. But this is the thing. If you mention any name other than yours in any criminal situation when it comes to law enforcement in, in any form, you tell it. So was Birdman initially upset with you for taking such a strong stance about this? Was who? Uh, Birdman. How did he feel about you taking a strong anti-BG ups- stance? For one, he's never going to be upset when I hear his name being disrespected. He know that. Like him, few, they know if I hear it, unless they get to me first, I'm going. He called me three days. I intentionally didn't I'm not phone. paying super close attention to how this is going on, but was weren't BG and Baby on good terms up until that diss right there, or had they previously said things about no, each other? No, I think it started to wobble when he said, I'm independent. I ain't signing nobody. It might have started to wobble. I don't know. Just me <clears throat> putting myself in the homie's shoes. I don't think he would have liked, he liked hearing that. Especially when he didn't make trips and preparations and, you know, he's setting shit up, taking meetings to, you know, who, this, this who, my assumption. Who broke the BG story? Was it 1090 Jake? And, and did you guys find some common ground through Bro that? called me. I was sick. 1090 already, called you. No, or Remo called you. Remo called. I had this on the three-way. Sick Remo knew I was already finna go with it, right? What kind of sickness? I had like the flu or some shit, right? Okay. So, um, so when he called me, I was sick. I'm like, yeah, bro, I got like 28 pages. 1090 said I got like 100, 200 pages. I said, well, I just got the, the meats and potatoes of a nigga taking a stand, grand jury, woo woo I said, Remo, Remo put us on the text blast. I sent him what I had. I said, go do your thing. My only request is to come out on Christmas Day. Right? That was my request. Why? Huh? Why? I wanted to give him a gift. Because <laughs> did you see Hassan Campbell's video talking about this? He really emphasized, like, I don't know what kind of sick person wants to put this out on Christmas. And I hate the way these YouTubers just stretch their fucking videos well, out and just say the same thing 15 fucking person. times. So it came out. Right, but this, now, this is like the most Grinch thing possible: is to want to fuck up his Christmas. Can we talk about that? Talk about fuck up what Christmas? Why would you want to fuck his Christmas yeah, up so bad? Christmas Can you do the day, day after okay. Christmas? Bah okay. humbug ass motherfucker! How many, how many Christmases of Kentrell Washington did he fuck up? Ooh, fuck out of here! Mm. You just silenced me. Bow. So this would trist me out. Headshot. Yeah. Whack ain't said hate BG. Yeah. Whack ain't said don't stream BG. Don't support BG. Whack just expose, because we got a new movement called the Exposers. I heard you. Yeah. Right? That you's a rat. That now, you're, you're trying to recruit Big Hit for. Now, that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you invited him to join. Now, <laughs> what, whoever chooses to do with it. All we gonna do is expose, talk about it, turn it into content, let it go up, get your click, get your views, and laugh. Now, I hope that if it was somebody out there who was planning to do business with anybody we expose that's street business, I bet you they appreciate us. Cause they gonna say, oh shit, this nigga didn't got out. We didn't know. What about that? What about that crowd? Now, his fans, bro, continue to be his fans. I want you to stream, download all this music. That's part of the Cash Buddy catalog. Birdman and Slim make that money. BG get whatever cut he got, whatever it is. We all this old man shit you hear these niggas talking about, and it's usually a rat saying it. Is the, is it's usually a rat saying it? If you expose a nigga, you gotta do something to him. That's stopping niggas from exposing niggas. So as soon as 1090 and you expose the BG stuff and start being vocal about it, Boosie chimes in right away and basically lets you so know what Boosie did. What's, and what's, he ain't gonna say? What's it. his thought process? And I'm gonna be real. I fuck with Boosie. You know, I usually don't give a fuck about getting into it with nobody. Yeah. This one kind of bummed you out? I don't give a fuck, straight up. But I fuck with Boosie, like for real. How could you so not? So I yeah. think what Boosie did, 
because I did it on purpose. I come on Clubhouse BG a rat. That's all I said. Two days. I was trying to bait BG into denying it. You know how I work. Yeah. Then I dropped the shit. He mm. never said nothing. You put the me and 1090 on the phone to come out the way it come out. So when he just heard me saying it on Clubhouse, right? He responded. Without knowing the back end story. Of he didn't know it because I had let it go. Yeah, I got you. I got DMs from Boosie after that. So what was Boosie thoughts on? Boosie uh, said, show me where he a rat. Show me where a rat. Send me the work. I sent him the work. He never responded. And I think Boosie's sitting back saying, like I'm saying, I'm going to be a real nigga. Damn. I done got into it with whack. Boosie been to the penitentiary, streets to the streets. If you ask Boosie to state his truth, Nigga, is any man supposed to take that stand and mention any man's name and point their finger at any man? Boosie gonna tell you hell motherfucking no. Even if they got a fall guy, nigga, it's in the cahoots? You never. You a squared nigga, so you know, your mind at your age is not trained for it. This is shit that been embedded in us. We do not mention another man's name. We don't point at another man's picture. We don't know or we plead the fifth. If a nigga say he gonna... Take the beef, you may sit in jail one day, a year, five years. I got homies that didn't sit there five years. Only thing that man is guaranteeing me is I'm not going to catch that chain in the penitentiary. Right? I got to let him put together his play. Let him move the pieces around how he going to move them. My peace of mind is sitting in the county jail knowing I'm going to walk from the county jail. The homie said he going to take the beef. Let him set it up. You may sit there a year, one of the cops may get, go foul. It could get thrown out. A witness could disappear, get sick. That could be thrown out. Anything could happen. Nigga, you got to sit there, nigga, and not say a motherfucking thing and let that man work his hand, set up either beating this shit or setting himself up for appeal while he's doing his time. If I go take a stand behind this nigga back, you notice BG didn't say, dude, told me to go get on the stand. Yeah. Right? Behind this man's back and give a statement saying everything is his, boom, 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 boom. Right? I didn't already killed his appeal. Gone. The niggas in the car saying it's yours, right? Now look at what the man did. He set it up to where he got his guilty plea withdrew and was gonna fight it. He didn't get it withdrew and point a finger at anybody and turn rat. He got it withdrew and was finna fight it. When he went to fight it, they said, you know we got statements from these two dudes saying everything is yours. They went to the grand jury behind your back, signed out for Davis and all that. So do you think that... That's right. Do you think Boosie now Boosie realizes... Boosie didn't know the details. You think that Boosie now realizes you the, were right? Boosie know I was right. I do you think Boosie. that Boosie will Listen, say that publicly? Real. I don't like getting into it with Boosie because I know the man. We'd have been in each other's presence in the studio. He didn't do favors for me, all kind of shit. Like, I generally fuck with Boosie. So if he comes to you and says... I was wrong. You'll happily accept and be back on That's good terms fact. with him. Right, okay. Because I know the nigga. Like, Boosie a good nigga. Like, not only I'm a Boosie fan, I respect the nigga as a man. But based on what you know of this situation, if Boosie's opinion is he didn't snitch, his behavior is acceptable, that that's Boosie's unacceptable opinion. to you? What Boosie's going to do is not... He's gonna For whatever reason, he, you know him and BG is what it is. But right? I've seen I've seen Vlad ask Boosie about a bunch of snitching shit, where Boosie kind of was like, I'm, "I'm not getting involved," you know. And it's like, but you also seen like, him. But, but you've also seen him jump off the fucking diving board about relatively minor guess shit, what? like the Ti thing. Ti he canceled the fucking album over Terrence, Ti, which it was not like the best example he's of snitching, a rat. right? He's a rat, right? Terrence, right? Uh, Williams. You know, he spoke strongly about that shit. Yeah. Right? Boosie at the time didn't know I had the paperwork. And he hadn't read it. And I think he got mad because I said what I said. But Boosie's supposed to know, and he got my number. That's the part I didn't like. Whack, what up? What's up with this shit you calling my homie? You know, bro, a rat. I'd have sent him to work. Right? Yeah. He didn't know I had to work. He thought I was just saying some shit. Because once I sent him to work on the DM, when he said, nigga... Show me where it's at, and I sent it. He didn't respond. If he had read that and felt what I said, he wasn't right. He had told me, "Nigga, this you capping this is that." Boosie gonna speak his mind. This is real shit. 
But you think with BG being from Louisiana, he's still going to, you know what I'm saying, push that narrative? I, don't, I think he's going to fall back. No, I him. just think, I think the overall politics or whatever it is, you know, everybody has a person that they probably don't want to talk about it. Right? They don't want to talk about it. We've seen that with a lot of the Chicago guys. They got like family. They got their best friend from no, elementary no. school, and he told. And they've I we've, fuck, we've seen people Chicago, have to kind of like formulate their response in order to say, "Yes, that person fucked up," but I can't deny that I still love them. You know, it seems like so, a tough tough conversation for a lot of people. So with me, it's a little different. It is what when you fuck up, I just ain't fucking with you. If you we talking some street shit, I ain't fucking with you. But you'll do business with niggas who fucked up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Hypothetically, what about a couple days ago we interviewed Paparazzi Poe. His dad was Alpo. His dad was a snitch. Yeah, I know. I know all about Alpo. Would you be Alpo able to told you to say that was your dad? Would you be able to have love for him or, or would it fuck it up? Um, I might have love for him as my father, if he was a father. Say so he's a father. Right. But Pops couldn't call me talking about no street shit. Mm. Uh, uh, son, I need you, nigga. You's a rat. The fuck is you talking about? Right? And so even you'd be just Alpo, sonning your dad. They reached me. They reached out to me. Once he tells you, you can they son your dad. They reached out to me because they want to do an Alpo story or something. Mm. Would I help them do the Alpo story? Absolutely. It's business. Yeah. Right. But we gonna call a spade a spade. What if he was still alive and he had wanted to invest in the diaper business? I talked to Alpo when he was alive. But you okay, wouldn't. Like, you wouldn't have done business with him as a rat. Definitely. I told him to do a story. He was alive. He was dragging his feet. Mm. He was at a halfway house on the West Coast. He was dragging his feet. I said, do your story. Damn. Real shit. So, okay. Another thing that I want to talk about, though, is that on Christmas Eve, I'm hanging out with the Armenians, smoking cigarettes in the backyard, opening presents, all this stuff, eating ham, whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at Instagram, and there's a war going on outside between Wack 100 and Big Sad that I believe you kind of opted out of it at a certain point because you blocked him and stopped commenting on him. So so what is your perspective on where that's at and what what was Big Sad's offense? I don't know Big Sad. Never heard his music, never heard of him. One of the hottest artists out of L.A. right now. I'm just telling you, it's going to be real. real. Like, respectfully, I, I don't know him. Right? I get a call from the Crips. Hey, yo, this dude, Big Sad, is rat. You didn't even know him when Blueface and him had issues in the I past? I didn't know none of that. Okay. Like, I don't, yo, I, Adam, I got so much business going on, I don't pay attention. I don't blame you. I only deal with what I got to deal with, mm -hmm. right? Um. So when they called me, I'm like, well, who's Big Sad? They tell me who he is. I said, okay, well, what'd he do? They tell me what he did. So, ah, you got to work, right? So he told on this dude, K-Swiss, from Mansfield Crip. He identified the car. Later on, the identifying the identity of the car led back to a rental car place, which was rented by K-Swiss, put him in the car. And that's how, you know, he, like, 15 years or so, right? So I said, ah, it would have worked. They said, well, we got this, but we got all the pill work. Attorney's out of town, Right. I said, okay. They said, we do even better. They called the attorney. Crips called Wack. They called the attorney. Hey, yo, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, my client told us to release it. Well, what you got? He said, the paperwork reads that this guy, uh, you say Big Sad's real name, whatever the fuck it may be, um, gave a description of a car, gray SUV, gray something, whatever, 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 whatever. So, okay. So, what he says, yeah. Then he says, we also have the live audio and video of the interrogation of him giving a statement. Now, I'm going to be real. Maybe I'm wrong, but when an attorney tells me, this man's attorney, that this is what they have, I'm going to take it with face value. He said, when I get back in town after the new year, I'll deliver it to who he tells me to deliver it to. Right? And so, you know, I ain't capping. Right? I don't know Big Sad. <clears throat> Look, you hear me say, get on the attorney, right? Get on that attorney. What'd he say? He back Thursday. Right? 
So listen, bro. You know, we we building a new movement called the Exposers. Your ass didn't rat it, we're gonna expose your ass. Whatever the people choose to deal with you, we don't give a fuck. We ain't telling the people to stop fucking with you, but we go damn sure let the streets know out there who man want to fuck with you in the way they shouldn't, that they shouldn't. People say, whack, what's your motive? Hey, bro, some of these niggas up under the radar, and we look up two years from now, and we got a 30, 40 people indictment going on. And who's at the top of the indictment? The rat that been telling those motherfuckers five, ten years. Now, this was scary. Majority of the paperwork that comes out, it be 10 years old or better. You know how long, how many people could have been lined up, third party informant and all kind of shit in 10 years? Very seldom do we get paperwork where the dude just told last week or last year. It be 10 years ago, right? So if it's cats in the street working their hand doing what they doing, they're going to appreciate a motherfucker alarming them that this dude, whoever they may be, has participated in these activities. Because they may have been, been ready and willing to go into some type of business venture with a motherfucker that if the heat come and they under the light, they're going to get down. So, so That's who we trying to alarm. We don't give a fuck about nobody. You're else. saying that in a police report, he identified the vehicle, the, a vehicle? The shooter, shooting vehicle. And the person or just the vehicle? The vehicle. He gave a full description of the vehicle that they were shooting up. So you're saying that he didn't snitch on a person. He snitched on a vehicle. Snitching on the description of the vehicle is led, led to them finding the vehicle at the rental car place, which led to who rented the vehicle, which led to the shooter. You so, eliminate the description of the vehicle, they don't get to. So, the shooter. hypothetically, I live in the hood and somebody comes by and sprays my crib up and right, right as they're driving away, I see it's a red pickup you're talking truck. About you, you're talking about you from the streets. Uh, it's, I'm, a, I'm a street guy. Okay. And I live in the hood. Yep. And as they drive off after spraying they up my house. They kill your mama in there. I see a red truck. Spray your house. And so then when the cops come to do your the police mama report. Your mama die in the house. I can't say Not it was a, a red truck. fucking thing. Mm. Matter of fact, the best thing to do is leave so they don't even question you. And if they do get you to question you, you don't know nothing, you ain't seen nothing, you plead the fifth. Because you ain't going to jail for the shooting, are you? You was a bitch for wanting him in jail. If a motherfucker didn't spray your house, smoked your mama, don't you want him on the street? It's crazy because if I were to have that outlook on life, my girl would have to be on board with First that too. Ball, Imagine Adam. telling your girl... Adam. Yes, my house got sprayed up. No, we can't talk to the cops about it. I, I, like, I'm not cut out for the street stuff. Imagine the I'm telling doing your the girl, police report. Imagine telling your girl, those black people out there aren't people. We count them with the fucking animals and the cattle. Man, get the fuck out of here. Y'all been having heinous thoughts since the beginning of time. The streets is the streets. The world is the world. Everybody, every ethnic group, every movement. You think them Nazi dudes, they got some crazy shit they got to stand up to? What point are you trying to make? The point of you acting like this is just some flabbergasting, mind-blowing thing. I'm not ready people, to live that street code. Your people brainwash. For obvious reasons. Brainwash and all your people, people out there. To count black people I would suggest y'all also don't live by this street code because that's some crazy I ass shit. I strongly suggest that too. What do I tell them all day on Clubhouse? Fuck with a square or a gangster. What I tell him, bro? But now you out here trying to ruin Big Sad's career because he said it was a purple car? I'm not trying to ruin shit. Said it was gray. <laughs> Crips called me. Whack this what it is, what it is. Okay? I don't know Big Sad. Nothing personal. It's business. But watch this. If a motherfucker have a video of Whack slipping and falling in the rain, is the video going up? I, I mean, probably a lot of people would put it out, yeah. I have no mercy. <laughs> what What do you Don't think? Don't ask me for mercy. What do you think the reaction I'm has been? I'm getting all my licks in before I slip it. On an L.A. level, just from my perspective as somebody who's not paying super close attention to this, I don't feel like the big sad thing turned into some big viral storyline. Oh, no. But when, the, when we post that video. What video? Of him in there giving that statement in the interrogation room. It's going to go somewhere. What are you waiting on? They're turning to get back. 
I just showed you. So he's got a 1090 Jake the video coming soon or all what? That. Nah, because 1090. 1090 tried, don't want to touch it? I tried to work with him and he did some, you know, some other shit. Wait, but I'm gonna get that where it's we at. thought you and 1090 were back cool after the BG thing. You're telling me that the big sad situation put an end I to it? I've seen some weirdo shit, but I ain't, you know, shit weird. Either you stand one way, you stand another. But at the end of the day. So you feel like 1090's responsible for telling type behavior as well? Yeah, he did some telling in the, the joint, the prison shit. Oh, when he went to the news? Or the grievance? Yeah, when he was telling what was going on. Were you about to refer to uh, 1090? Because you seen you probably seen him say that he didn't. He didn't, he never said that. BG snitch. And me and you both know on the phone. I'm gonna call you on this nef. That was not his conversation. But 1090 don't dictate that. Whack don't dictate that. You know what dictates that BG snitched? What dictates that? Come on, you're very smart. You tell what us. What dictates that? The motherfucking paperwork. Fuck what I say. Fuck what 1090 say. The paperwork is what dictates whether you told or not. It don't matter what nobody says. It don't matter if you my brother, if I'm a fan, if I like you, don't like you. If the motherfucking paperwork don't say you told and you didn't tell. If the paperwork says you gave any statements on anybody other than yourself, you told. But what about in a case like Greedo's where he says that the police report's inaccurate? And doesn't Tay Savage? Him, Tay not, Savage and Greedo found some common ground on this, right? This is a police report. This is a court stenographer okay. in the fucking courtroom. That is different, yes. But there are situations where the cops could write something Greedo's in the report shit. that doesn't. I'm going to be real. I don't know what Greedo shit is. I, I never really followed it. I don't know what it is. I told you this before. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I know he did three, four years in Texas. Got caught with some. I wouldn't even bring up the Greedo thing if it wasn't for the fact that Greedo had a kind of. You see this Twitter narrative going where there was yeah, the clip he... of Tay Savage talking about yeah. the police report and how you could kind of. People could kind of write anything in the no, police no, no. report. No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. Because these dudes are trying to change the rules of the game. If that's the case, then you should have filed a suit on them. That's the case, everybody can say they falsified a police report. Okay, if that's the case, we can tell the motherfucking women that go in there and file their rape charges, oh, that police report's wrong, right? Fuck it. Am but, I right? But is it true oh, that no, no. the cops don't have, like, the cops could put something in a police report that is different from reality, Is right? it true that most police reports are dictated and determined by a statement written or verbal given? Uh, I would say mostly, yeah. But, yeah. But the cops could kind of write whatever. Hold on. This is why the people don't double back and file cases on them because they know you talked into that motherfucking tape recorder or you wrote on that motherfucking pen and pad. Mm. Straight up. This is why you're supposed to say I plead the fifth. Don't say nothing. Okay, so Big Sad's response to you was basically just a bunch of personal attacks from what I could say. And What he didn't do is he didn't deny he was told. Mm. See, when niggas get to running that, I'm not, bro, listen, I'm not going to be going back and forth about yo mama, my mama, your kids, my kids. Nigga, the accusation is you told. Now, if I hit you out of and say, hey, motherfucker, you stole Remo Wallet. You in this backpack stole his motherfucker Wallet. We got proof, right? Do you want to talk about what my wife look like? Do you want to talk about what kind of car I drive? You want to prove the point that motherfucker, you just steal the wallet, right? But you realize that whenever I make a good point on you, you just point out that I'm white, right? It's like basically I the know same thing. There's no good point. What well, good point? <laughs> it's just real shit. What, when a motherfucker say, hey, you did this, and they want to talk about everything but that, that's letting you know what it is. But you telling me that I'm white every time I prove you wrong is basically the same thing. No, you were saying what you was, what you was trying to say was, the rules of the street are stupid. <laughs> and I agree. But this has but happened what, multiple times, even just I'm during this you, podcast. Adam, Adam, what I'm saying to you is, there's always been some shit in every ethnic group and every movement mm. that one could say is stupid. We can evaluate. Do I agree with it. Listen. We as humans can evaluate what's right and what's wrong, regardless of what the culture was that developed those cultural norms. But it still was that, though. I'll give you an example. 
in Arab countries, it's fairly common to, you know, basically chop your daughter's vagina off when they're born and then sew it up so that they're forced to remain a virgin I'm until they get older. With that. I don't agree with it either. I think that even though I didn't grow up in that culture, I could still look at that and say that is objectively wrong and we should work as a society to root that shit out. I'm not going to say none of that. Even though it comes from I'm a culture that why. I don't fully understand. That's their culture. Like them streets is their rules. That's their culture. Stop female genital Mom, mutilation. Fucker, FGM eat, is bad. I eat pepperoni pizza. Who in the fuck am I to tell? Don't talk about that Muslims. right after the vagina conversation. Right. God damn it. About Ugh. what they can and can't do. That's they believe in. That's their movement. Now, I tell the kids, because of all these things, you don't want to be part of a gang. A dude could pick you up and say, bro, go with us to the party. Get pulled over, throw the gun under the seat. Police find the gun. It's three of y'all. You know it ain't yours. He know it ain't yours. And you got to shut the fuck up. Mm. These are the rules of the street. So we're in agreement that this is kind of ridiculous. Right? Definitely. But this is the rules of the street. Yeah. You come into this fold, this is what it is. You get on the football field, you can't fucking dribble the ball, right? This is the football field. Run it, pass it. How do you feel about Boosie's top killer, Spiffy Luciano, coming for you? I don't know who that is. It's one of the hottest artists coming out of L.A. I don't know him. Spiffy was, I, I, he was in rare form. i never seen him like they that before. They say he ain't from a gang. He kept saying dead homies. He said he ain't from nowhere. You can still have dead homies even if you're not from a gang. Right? I don't know. They say he ain't from nowhere. Somebody called and said, I remember he was a 14-year-old kid when I met him. I do believe that he is. I don't know him, though. I do believe he's non-affiliated. But watch this. Then I think Boosie would agree with this. Boosie's a businessman, right? I don't think Bootsy would want his artist to put himself in a line of fire when he's out here, we're out here together, and some shit that has nothing to do with him. Mm. All Spiffy just showed is, use a little yes man. Now I hope, I hope that Spiffy don't run into the young blue problems, whatever they may be, whether they're true or not, and we don't look up a year or two from now like we see all the time, Adam, and what our artist is saying about the people they're signed to. Fuck this, fuck that, fuck this. You have to become successful in order to get to that point. Yeah, you're a little too early, and Bootsy <laughs> could handle his own, and me and Bootsy do have a relationship, but I ain't got a relationship with him. Spiffy Luciano is a very good rapper. People should go listen to him. I don't know him. He's, he's, he's talented. I don't know him. I just I don't know the dude. So for him to jump out the window like that, nigga, I don't know you. Like, I don't know the fuck you are. You clout chasing. Yeah. He's doing right with that other dude trying to do with you. Nigga, you know I don't know you. You don't even know fucking BG and ever met BG a day in your motherfucking life. Mm. Okay, you signed the motherfucking um, uh, Boosie. Boosie. Yeah. Well, what the fuck that got to you? Do I didn't say fuck Boosie and whatever Boosie's label is? If I'd have said that, you got it right, right? You clout chasing. But I had a young lady that used to work with us. I said, Wack, you remember him? He used to be signed to Big U when he was 14. Was he really? I didn't know that. Right? He used to be around us all the time, Wack. I don't know the little dude. I wish him the best. But nigga, stay out of grown folks' business. Yeah. Me and Boosie know how to deal with it. I don't think Boosie would want his artist that he invested money into to even be in the line of fire, that type of shit. Mm -hmm. He come from this shit. Boosie preaches. Most artists die in a city they from. That's why he moved. So why would you put yourself in a situation? What about if you and Boosie don't work out? And now you fall up into a building. I got some sakes in. I think he's badass till the wheels fall off. I mean, you know, they all say that. We'll see. Yeah. But I think he's somebody who's just so thankful for the Boosie cosign that he's basically like accepting so you're all of he Boosie's beef. Boosie's Boosie dick. I don't think so. Possibility. I don't think Boosie's into that kind of thing, even oh, if he okay. was down. So the nigga might have been down. Crazy, man. I don't think. I don't know. He might have been down. I don't think Boosie Entertainment is what? a badass. Entertainment is is doing a whole man, lot. I don't of know. Dicks. I, all I know, Boosie really seems bro, very adamantly against shit. the gay agenda. I'm gonna let y'all know so y'all stop wasting your time. Kind of like this whole thing. I understand, Adam. You know this. You know this. I understand social media. Wack 100 is a social media name. My homies I grew up with, niggas I did time with, don't call me Wack 100. So all you guys are sitting here with the third grade mentality, oh shit, 
I'm going to say something about whack. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing back, dummy. Understand the algorithm. Understand how it works. You over there with 80 fans, and I'm over there with my fans. My fans don't see you until I say something about you. So y'all can just stop wasting your time because all I'm going to say is I don't know him. Okay, but the old school mentality is basically like I'm a big name, so little guys are going to talk about me, and I'm never going to respond to them because as there soon as go. I respond to them, I'm giving them attention. There but you go. There's here's no the thing. Break. We There's are, no buts after We that. are professional content creators. We do this shit for a couple hours a week. You're on Clubhouse for, I don't know, 90 or 100 hours a week. And as a result, you end up just kind of talking about a lot of random people that you wouldn't otherwise really want to give attention to. No, I don't. And in some cases, no, like you, you brought up the guy that I walked out on on that one podcast. Who? I never I really. I didn't bring him up. I didn't even know his fucking You did name. bring him up. I said, and I don't what? hold it against you. I don't blame I you. Said, but when you have to talk situation? for hours on camera on. each week, you end up talking about a bunch of random I motherfuckers. I said, what is the situation where you walked out? I didn't know the motherfucking name. I didn't tell you his name. I don't know. Right. But you just say his name for the very reason I won't mention these little weirdos' names. This is true, yeah. Now, let me tell you where they look real fucked up. Who? Well, you go down they shit, right? Whether it's YouTube or IG posts, right? You're talking about just losers just period, in general? Right? Okay. Yeah. And you see 10,000, 5,000, 8,000, whack 100, 350,000. Oh, yeah. It's not you. It's me. So how many followers <laughs> the nigga got, got, they got to have to engage with you? What? No, it just all depends on who you are. Yeah, because if somebody's from a gang, they don't need any clout. He's down. They're squabbling on clubhouse. Listen, it's going down. Let's go. If I don't, first of all, stop acting like the hunter side is just full of negative shit. We want real content over there. We Seems music, like there's a fair amount music, of negativity. Got, you know, for you to say that, we clear. <laughs> we brought you over there to help clear your punk ass name. Thank you. Yeah, that was great. That wasn't negative, was it? It was a great day. Very positive. It right? was an attempted lynching. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I just managed to survive. Somehow. No, no, it wasn't. We, bro. If we want to, we was on that, <laughs> you know, we we kept, we came on there with all defensive mm. shit for him. Yo, this is boom, the legal age is this, this, that, this, this, that wasn't the case. She was really this, all that. We wasn't, you know, we want to push a narrative, bro. We're going to push it. Thank we you. We did not do that. That right? was kind. So at the end of the day, it's, it's real simple. I see the bozos who think you're going to leech off my name. Now, listen. I'm going to put this out there for the first time. Those of y'all that want to get on, who want to be seen by the masses, and you need WAC 100 to help you get there on whatever we need to do, hit me up. For a small fee, we might can make something. That should be an option. Like on NoJumber.com, you should be able to select like, B for the Adam 22, $5,000, boom. There and then go. I record a fucking video calling you a bitch. <laughs> and like, we talk about you on a podcast and shit. Because realistically, that's way more beneficial. Because if I do a story and I say, hey, check out little so and so, he's the top new rapper, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's going to believe me. They're all going to know this is an ad. Even though I don't do that, they would quickly figure out that it was an ad. A beef. I mean, we've seen this over and over where, like, you know, if, if a big rapper mentions you, you could be a small rapper and become a fairly big rapper overnight. So. I feel like that's the thing that's going on right now because a lot of uh, street niggas are beefing on camera and then nothing really comes from it. So it was like, I think mm -hmm. they're marketing beef. Shut your square ass up. <laughs> Hell no. <nah, if> <laughs> it's Shut a lot your of that shit going on, up. though. So it's not. Well, look. So it's not. I don't know. <laughs> so not on not. this West Coast. Whatever you talking about, yeah. because see, here go the problem. Fucking square ass nigga. How's he a square? You don't know what he was doing before no, he worked no. here? What he just said was some square shit. Oh. Hell no. You really think really? we going to show you what the fuck is going on? Remo no, was I'm just in the streets. Not, not, just, it's a lot of shit. All right, you, you don't even make sense. If niggas is beefing and shit. Nigga, you trim have... your eyebrows, nigga. I don't trim my eyebrows. You a motherfucking <laughs> lie. Nigga, I don't. You trim your, you pluck them. Out of here, I don't pluck my fucking eyebrows, nigga. This you shit. will never know what goes on if it goes on. Just because I feel like this, if you're a street nigga, you shouldn't be beefing on the internet if you're really gonna do Listen, something though, right? He agrees Listen, with that. He's just trying to be difficult. Yeah, just he's just because, talking crazy, bro, but come on. Just because it's not happening to them don't mean it ain't happening. So you don't agree that you think we gonna show you weird ass, square ass, point on the stand ass niggas what we doing? 
Y'all niggas is putting it on cl Clubhouse, YouTube. A lot of street niggas is you going on interviews and, and going. Y'all yeah, hear the back and forth. You want to see the action. I don't want to see the action. Sense? I'm just hearing it. Does that make sense? I'm not saying I want to see it. I'm just saying. Does that make sense? I wouldn't expect there to be any Why action. Why niggas wear push ices? The, the okay. okay. When they wear their push ices, they go in the creep mode, right? <laughs> the hoodie go on, right? We do all this shit not to be what? To be seen. But you want us to let you see. Get the fuck out of here. But then you get on Clubhouse and you announce all your plans to the world. So it's not even that. It's just not rocket science. How are you trying to pull the wool over our eyes right now like we're fucking retarded? You're a fucking geeky ass white dude. Boom. There it is. There it is. This motherfucker, he's an Oreo for fucking with you. He white. Where you grow up at? That was fighting words. Damn. You from where? From Mississippi. Hold on, nigga. You just said you from New York, Jackson, I was Mississippi. born in New York, but I grew up down south in Mississippi. When did you leave New York? Probably like when I was like nine, like nine, ten years old. But all my family, my mom, so you are New Yorkers and shit. I'm, I'm from Mississippi. My people from Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna call me Oreo? Like, That's an old school insult. It just hits a little different. You ain't got nothing to do with an Oreo. You motherfucker, you all vanilla. I knew. I, I learned as a youngin. You don't call somebody an Oreo because that's that's fighting words. We call motherfuckers what we want to call them. Yeah, I mean, this and is black belt business. So I don't want to get in the middle of it. I'm just like, damn, whatever you really took it there. So that's not no fighting words. Nah, you he, he said you a hydrox. Even in Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. Well, Madison, you, Mississippi, which is like yeah, you the grew up of Jackson. somewhere else, bro. Yeah. Because you nigga, it's know. gutter niggas in Jackson. Ma when you say, I'm from Madison, <laughs> but Jackson is what you say. You grew nobody up with a know. bunch of white folks. Yeah. Your family was a family that was probably tied to white folks for generation to generation. Hell no. How do you, you talk know? You just bro, talking. Bro, listen to him. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I carry myself, how I talk. How I, I wish R&B was here. Hold on, motherfucker. Who's nah, R&B? No, no, don't say nothing. Hold on. Hold on. We going to I'm finna show you some shit, bro. Ain't no way this square ass motherfucker is from Mississippi. He's a square. Don't say nothing. Hello. All right. I'm gonna let you hear somebody talk. Right, R and B? Uh-huh. Okay. When you hear him talk, you gonna tell me where his dialect, where you think it come from. Tell Go me ahead. tell me where you think I'm from. Talk, nigga, talk. Just say what up? What's her name? R&B, this the queen of the other side. Hold on, What are you, hear me? Okay. Go. This okay. talk, nigga, this, nigga. I'm Remo, no jumper, this talk. Nigga, I'm Remo, no jumper, what's the word? <laughs> Where is his dialect? Where do, it sound, where do you think it sound like I'm from? Um, uh, the South. He sound like he from Mississippi? Yeah, he sound like he's from Mississippi. Hang up the phone. She just, she just, that nigga don't up, sound like he's from Mississippi. Hell, hell, man. Hang up the phone. R&B. Like hang up the phone, I'm never man. calling you ever again in life. You know what I'm saying? saying I'm never calling you ever again in life. Yo, hold on. First of all, Remo, do I fuck with you? Yeah, hell yeah. You know I fuck with well, you, right? Love. Hell yeah. What did he just say? If I say, hey, check out Remo, the cool dude, right? How far does that go? Nowhere, right? You know how far this clip finna go, Rebo? No, I'm already knowing. All right, I call you back. So love. Did you buy the WAC 100 stimulus package? <laughs> that's what that was. Nah, that's bro. <laughs> that's bro. Remo, you gotta keep. Uh, you gotta remember. See, here go the difference with me and Adam. I think now you kind of got me like a little bit figured out, but I was like an interesting guy to you because it was like I got this street guy, right? Yeah, can that's I, a businessman. Hold on. Can that's I get along with a psychopath? No, hold on. Yeah. No, no. I got this street guy. That's Worse a than myself. Man, yeah. Right? He can be intellectual when he want to be, gutter and an asshole when he want to be. Never admits when he's wrong, ever. I do admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> I just don't never say shit that's wrong. Always changes right? the subject. <laughs> hold on. So you was really, because you got to remember, you got some street dudes in this building that's mush brain. Who? <laughs> nigga, you had that nigga the other day. Y'all see it. Who is this? Three minutes. A host or an interview? <laughs> Who's the what, what kind of impersonation is this? Brick baby. Stop capping. <laughs> oh, you seen the clip? Uh, he's just Wait, what he do? So you be watching a lot of shit, though. What, he just no, zoned out? It, it was on the news. Brick baby. He zoned out? Hell no, he three minutes. Out. So when you say, well, Brick Baby Street, dude, you're like, well, that ain't whack. Right? Then you got Sharp. You got sharp. Let's do the sharp episode. No, 
I'm supposed to. Now, Sharp is a sharp character. You and Sharp need to sit down first before no, we all sit down together. Sharp is a sharp character. Okay. Sharp ain't nobody else in the bill like Sharp. Sharp got, I, I'm going to give Sharp his credit. Smart guy. Smart dude, right? He just trying to figure out this shit, right? And once he figures out what it is he really, really, really wants to do and how to do it, I think Sharp going to go places. He got the potential. But when the somebody— Stunner Girl won the super good. Who? He did a Stunner Girl interview with Brick that did really good. The homegirl from Zach? Yep. Yeah, she cool. She good people. Mm. Yeah, she's rapping. Yeah, she good it. people. Real good people. Um, shout out, shout out Young people. Rich Moolah as well. Yeah, so— Good um, guy. Um— when people was first telling you about whack, 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 your first perception, this motherfucker, all this. But when you meet me and we talking business and we talking what we talking, you realize whack is who you want him to be. I knew you for beating people up way before I knew you in real life. Yeah, but see, let me ask you something. I don't run around just putting my hands on people. I'm not if saying I got to defend me or my people that's with me, I'm going to tell you why I get the short end of the stick. If I'd have got my ass whooped, they'd have laughed at me. Because I might knock a motherfucker out, now I'm the bully. Yeah. Nobody says they went fucking with him or fucking with them. Let me answer this. Last topic, possibly. How did you feel when you saw the call that Crip Mac put out? Where he basically said that China Mac might be banned from L.A. There's a lot of that stuff going on. That call was a bunch of bullshit. Let me know that Crip Mac is either in isolation. Crip Mac took that all back. Oh, he's motherfucking delusional. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, in the penitentiary of California, the Islanders, Samoans, Asians, anything of that, right, are classified and they run with the blacks. Because Crip Mac is Samoan for the record. Right? Yeah. No, he's a nigga as far as they're concerned. Right. But China Mac is Asian. They're going to classify him as an Islander and with the blacks, right? Meaning his business out here was with black people. The Mexicans are not going to concern themselves or insert themselves on what the fuck an Islander, an Asian, or anything like that has going with the group of people that they click with. Crip Mac was lying like a motherfucker. So you saying that there's no chance that any Mexican people no really chance have a, at all will even care about China Mac being in LA? And not because China Mac's dealings was with the brothers in jail. They classify the Islanders, anybody from that side, Samoans, Tongans, Asians. They they run with the black card. But so you're saying that China Mac could never have problems with Mexicans on the streets of LA? The Mexicans ain't told Crip Mac. China Mac is a no-fly zone. None of that shit. That nigga was capping. You think Crip Mac just made that up? He definitely made it up. See, China Mac accused me of basically inventing that storyline for Crip Mac, which, why the fuck would I ever think about that or ever... Can you imagine no me Mexicans calling... No Mexicans are going to give a fuck about what an Imagine Asian me calling Crip Mac and telling him, people. this is my big idea. You're going to record a video with Lupe where you tell Lupe that China Mac is not allowed... What the fuck are you... Why would I do that? That's the last thing I would have thought of. No Mexican is going to give a fuck what a Samoan, a Tongan, a Asian is doing with black people. That is their concern, their politic. The only time they will concern themselves is if it's some business concerning them that went bad with that individual. Other than that, they don't give a fuck what China Mac had going on with Crip Mac, that dude, that dude, or that dude. It ain't their fucking business. They don't care. Your boy Christopher Lovejoy is not too happy with China Mac, though, huh? Uh, what did What's uh, that 600, about? What did he? What did he? What did he? What write? is that about? You tell us. You know. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, I think then Christopher Lovejoy used to manage uh, Crip Mac. I think they just been going back. And forth well, yeah, no, he, Crip Mac, you know, got a paperwork with Four Leaf. Is that and, real? That's real, and and. 600 was out here overseeing his business. What is paperwork for Four Leaf? Management. You know what the fuck it is. They served you some paperwork. Oh, that was a skit. But, uh, okay, Four Leaf is the management company that Christopher Lovejoy works no, for? Four Leaf is the individual Crip Mac did the business with. Oh, that's the guy that they're always talking about? Yeah. Oh. In the video, Crip Mac mentioned Christopher Lovejoy's name when he said that uh, the South Siders came and banned him. So I think that's where the Christopher Lovejoy name coming in with the China Mac shit. Crip Mac just was talking. 
Nothing about that is authentic, makes any sense. I could call a Mexican dude right now here and tell you that is not our fucking concern. I mean, Kermit kind of like cleared it up afterwards. Like, he had to clear it I up. I didn't even it watch it, but I seen like YouTube clips on Kermit Mac's YouTube channel that basically saying like, "I fuck with China Mac." So I don't know why he, I don't know where that came from. You think that's a Lupe plant? Because Lupe and China Mac allegedly have not always got along. That's right? what they do. Whoever ain't around them. They poison Crip Max's mind with the person they think is a threat to their position. Yeah, it, it was do. like this when he was out, but now it's even worse in terms of like this weird little power struggle for who can be his best friend. Man, they tried to blame China Mac for Crip Mac going to jail. Fuck out of here. Yeah, that's here. retarded, too. That's Can't tell no stupid. motherfucker in his backyard how to do, what to do, how to move. It don't even make sense. Imagine trying to tell Crip Mac what to do. No, China Mac's from New York. He's out here trying to do business with Crip Mac. Right. It, but, it, you can't just even imagine tell me what to do. trying to tell Crip Mac, like, hey, I know you've been running around with pipes your whole life, but you got to stop. <laughs> no more guns. What, what, what is he going to say? Uh, Adam, I'm going to be totally honest. You don't understand my lifestyle. You don't understand the pressure I'm in. I drink old English and I, I throw up my gang signs. And I carry guns on me because people are trying to kill me. Adam, I got to keep, you know, what the fuck is he going to say? I realize my, my impersonation should probably be better after so many years around him, but he's been gone for a while. Um, nobody in the whole world could have told Crip Mac to stop carrying guns, right? I don't know if he carried guns. I don't think Crip Mac carried guns. Well, okay. I don't, I've never seen Crip Mac with a gun. I don't think they caught Crip Mac with a gun. I think they put the gun on him. I've never seen him with a gun here, but Crip ev Mac everywhere else I've ever guns. seen him, I'm pretty sure. Crip Mac does not carry guns. In the vicinity. Period. He does not carry guns. I agree. He doesn't carry guns. Free Crip Mac. See, look, now you, you want his tip trying to get down with him, too. No. I don't wish <laughs> jail on nobody. And you sitting up in this motherfucker on a large platform insinuating lies on that man that can be used against that man. Yeah, I'll stop. I don't even fuck with the dude, but I ain't going to do him like that. I'll stop. I'll you stop. No, but let the record reflect that Remo and Adam is, uh, they on a different movement on you, Crip Mac. I'm a realist. What did Remo say? Yeah, what did Remo say? You know what I'm saying? I'm the title. They need tell. to take you to, uh, what's the alley name? 55th Street Alley, Baby no, Snaps Alley. Baby Snaps Alley. Yeah, you need to he go. He went there. Him. They didn't. They decided not to put him on. He got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> you went to go get put on? I fuck no. I went though. I, I was with Crim. I got to finish that. I am definitely not getting put on. Imagine no, if like it. Remo just tells me no, like, "Yo, guess what? Crim just put me I'm, on." I'll I'm be like, just coming "Oh, out. you ain't been out here less than a year. What are you doing, huh? What day is just coming up? I don't know. Maybe maybe Sunday if we decide to put it out before the big hit one. No, big hit need to come out Sunday. Okay. So middle of the next I week? I told you what time it is. Wait, because you want to beat Vlad to it? Oh, man, what kind of weird-ass motherfucker are you? <laughs> you aired out my fucking voice message. I didn't air shit out. You told me to play it. <laughs> Under duress. No, you said play it. Okay. Hey, you should watch the World War II documentary on Netflix. We should talk about that. So you want me to watch some more shit that... Um, I think people would be you want, entertained hearing us talk about that. You want me to watch some more shit... That um, expand your horizons. You ever watch like history? Talks stuff? down on black people. There were no black people around back then. Actually, there were. You'd be surprised. See that shit you said? You white piece of shit. Fuck you, mean what? No black people they, around back okay. then. Hitler invaded. Fuck did you say Hitler invaded no Northern black Africa? Back then. See that shit? You motherfuckers have no. You to a point. You so fucking disrespectful that you, we don't even. You ain't gonna say nothing, Remo. How many black fuck, people do you bro? think there were in Remo, Germany in 1942? Know, fuck all that. You said there were no black people around back then. Like we was non-existent. Like the same way you have said you it. Have you seen the concentration? Concentration camp footage. Remo, you from Mississippi, nigga. How say many something. black people did you see in the concentration Yo, camp? You better say something. You ain't gonna say nothing, but there this your were master? some this black this your colonialist this tribes this from master? Africa that came you in front of Remo. Over the British yeah, kid, you gonna get fired? <sighs> stand up. Are you? You not gonna say nothing? You heard what he said, Remo. You it's from definitely fucking was black Jackson. people in World War Two. Don't say it to me. Say it to him. But they were they were from like French colonies in Africa. I don't, think, Remo, I, I don't think I don't How many black people were there living in Germany in the Listen, 40s? Remo, Remo, 
in Remo? Europe in general. I'm black. I've been black. Very few. You, you it, go get it, DP. It, def- it was definitely with black people in World War Two. They had them. Hitler, Hitler like, invaded Tell Northern Adam. Africa. I think he's talking about on the Hitler side of shit where they were fucking on Germany. I'm talking about in America. There were black people in World War Two. You don't let nobody say no shit. You from Mississippi. Well, I'm from New York. <laughs> if I had to die, now you're from New York. Nigga, I'm born in New York, nigga. See, Queen or B, you fucked up. All right. Thanks for joining us on the Adam and Wax I hate Show you. with my I man Rebo. We out. What's up?